so many of the gobba diamond nuggets. All right, let's come on in. <clears throat> Can't wait to hear it. Hey, Gem Squash. Yes, no noises during RP. You can see I've got the alerts, but I duplicated the alert box and then turned uh, turned this one off. It's one of the minor annoyances with OBS is you can't mute sources per scene. So if I mute the alert box, it gets muted on every single scene in OBS. So I have to duplicate it and make a new alert box called Red Dead Alerts brackets silent. And then I can mute that one and it doesn't fuck it up on all the other scenes. So it's kind of a pain in the ass, but it works. But yeah, there's no there's no stream loose cards here. There's no sound effects. There's no alert noises. It's just chilled out music. My soothing tones. I'm, I want to start reading his Obadiah Colt, man. It's so much fun. Rampant bullshit on Maine. This here is our private refuge. This is where we relax and we learn to look at the world through a different lens. I haven't looked at all of these, actually. Let's see. I've done... What's Gambler? I've looked at the Snowfall. I've looked at Mountain. I haven't looked at Wapiti. Let's see what Gambler is. Oh, that's all right, James. It's as much for my benefit as anything else. I, I could try to remember, right, to mute the alerts every time we go across this scene, but why... It's a lot easier just to do something I'd have to remember. This is a cool scene. This is the casino boat. If you've never seen the casino boat, um, this is it. Yeah, really nice. Feel kind of, I mean, it certainly suits uh, all three of these characters, really. Look at my boys, chat. It makes me so happy. Look at my boys. <clears throat> also, chat, I'm just going to do a little bit. Go, Jay, because I need to. Otherwise, I'll falter tonight and fall over. Um... I really wanted, because yesterday was really fucking stressful. Um, but the show went well, thankfully. And there's been no... There was no technical hitches yesterday, which I was really fucking happy about. Um, and I was like, after we finished, I was like, oh, should we... Well, I wasn't, but I was like, we like this was the kind of situation where we would normally end up falling over and like ordering something naughty. But what really helped was coming downstairs and going, do you know what? It's irrelevant. I can't fucking afford it. Anyway, that's the bottom line. Sit on the sofa. But Millie and I, we stayed strong. And then this morning, I was 200.2 pounds, chat, which means I've got 0.3 of a pound to go to dip underneath 200. So if I'm good today, hopefully when I wake up tomorrow, I'll dip under 200. And then if I'm good for like the next week or so, hopefully I can get down to like 195 or something. And then that gives me a little breathing room, right? Then that gives me a little breathing room. Because I don't plan on going over 200 again when I get under it. So I'd like to, like, get decently under it enough so that I can have a pizza or a couple of bad days and not go back over it. But I'm just, I'm so excited. <laughs> I'll swim in tomorrow, too. I'll go swimming in them lakes. And Lola is immediately on the floor and around my fucking feet again. <laughs> Looks like you need to get COVID again. Spaghetti. Um, you, I mean, you know what you're doing with weight loss. I know you're on a similar, I think you've got like, you want to lose exactly the same weight as me, right? Um, so you know what you're doing. But the last time I hit a plateau, making sure I smashed two liters a day, um, for a couple of days. Oh yeah, the stables is miles away here, isn't it? Um, shifted me off that plateau. All right, so it's over the bridge and out left. Um, but you don't need me to mansplain weight loss to you. But yeah, 30 pounds lost, 22 to go. Because I had the same as you, Spaghetti. I got, I remember, it started this year, actually, wasn't it, chat? I was like, I made the start of weight loss and like I was losing. Well, no, I wasn't losing weight. I was drinking water. I was in a calorie deficit. I was swimming three times a week and my weight just wasn't going anywhere and then I started drinking two liters of water a day and all of a sudden my body's like okay you can have 10 pounds of water weight back <laughs> <clears throat> honestly gems everybody's is 
if i've learned one thing about trying to lose like, i think 52 pounds is like quite a sizable chunk of weight right like i put on four stone 52 pounds was what i put on is that everybody's road is a dirt road with plenty of boulders in it like, i've been trying to lose this weight since the beginning of last year and i got down to 199 in like september last year and then boulders gate came out and life went crazy and stressful and both millie and i just just ate really poorly and stopped looking after ourselves and i put 20 pounds back on again so like and now i'm kind of fighting back down again so just just be kind to yourself weight loss is one of the hardest challenges i've had to do in terms of consistency and one of the biggest things i learned was giving myself the space to know it's not something that happens quickly not in a healthy way and like you know what it took me a year to put this weight on it's not going to come off in three months it's not going to you know but my brain's like now nah, we can get off in two weeks let's go and once you give yourself kind of that space to breathe and like yeah it's going to go up and down and up and down and that's it like we're all we're all all of us we're all just so shit and not being kind to ourselves <clears throat> and yeah that's about like i'm I'm, tr I'm trying to get more into that headspace as well like m you know my weight is what it is but my clothes are certainly fitting better fitting better you know i can run for a little bit now without just feeling out of breath immediately and that's nice we're all just bags of meat <laughs> we are our bodies are nothing more than a vehicle. We're all lovely. Hang on, I want to put on scooters. Well, what we're calling scooters theme tune at the moment. Where is it? Oh, there's my cursor. There you go. I had scooter brown all over. Okay. Welcome to episode 367 of Scooter Brown. And today, we are on the search for more nuggies. I will receive the gold nuggies. I will make me a gold bars. But once upon, thank you very much for that gift sub to you, Kina and Tanya. Thank you very much for subbing. A gift sub to Ms. Ghouls. I appreciate it all. I'm glad y'all are enjoying the RP streams. And for all a vehicle, I'm pretty much the Pacific Drive Station Wagon after a few hundred anomalies. <laughs> oh, I feel that. God, Pacific Drive is good though, Chan. Yeah. The feel of working on your car in the garage, real fucking nice. Um, chat, do shout if you get any ads, even though you've subbed. I can't remember if I've pre-clicked the button that turns them off for subscribers i'm pretty sure i have because i tried to just do a side-by-side -side comparison with the uh variety channel so you should be all set but do shout if if you get anything am i going to buttons gold spot yes i am spaghetti uh which i think do i want to cross there no yeah, we are officially affiliated. Um, it, 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 it. There we go. Um, yeah, I, I, I could click it. It's the second we finished that last stream, to be honest. So I think although Twitch's tracker that it shows you is like two days behind. <laughs> um, they were actually on top of it afterwards, so that's fine. Do you know that there was a talking about, you know, because we, a lot of us in the Discord are trying to lose weight right now. And I'm, A, I'm just fucking proud of all of us. Like, no matter the level of progress, we are all trying, which is all we can ever do. But there was a, there was a quote, I remember, if you've never read Atomic Habits, it's a really interesting book about how to make change as a, as a human meat sack. Um, and one of the ways it talked about, which I found really helpful, was... You don't have to win um, every vote. And the way the way it basically talked about it was: imagine um, you have two versions of you, right? There's the version of you that is the weight you want to be. Let's, if we use weight loss as an example, 
there's a version of you that's the weight loss you want to be there's a version of you that isn't and every time you make a choice between exercising or not exercising or eating that takeaway or not eating that takeaway etc is it's just a vote it's a vote that gets cast for one of those two candidates right you don't have to win every vote you don't have to win every vote you just need to get more votes than the other version of yourself that's it and when i started to kind of think of it like that i found that a bit easier i was like yeah like we're all guilty of oh you know you, you eat a pizza when you're on your diet and then that's it and you're like oh fuck it no one vote for the other guy that's all it is i think he said there was a little rock Morning, Donkey Kongs. Unless my pan is broke or something. Hey. Hmm. Oh, I'm kind of I'm envious of your running words. I must admit, I wish I could run. I, I don't give me. <laughs> I can run, <laughs> um, but I get really bad shin splints. I got really into running like in my early 20s. Oh, there we go. But holy shit, I've, I don't ever remember pain like it, to be honest. Yeah, like that's the thing as well. Like, I'm, I'm lucky that I like um what you call it i like i like swimming and my body seems to be suited for str for swimming right i got like what well, at least i feel like i got long arms long legs and i am pretty much the right shape for it um because I, I was watching i've watched so many videos about this sort of stuff trying to motivate myself around weight loss and fitness like michael phelps is not a good swimmer because of the body shape he is he is a swimmer because of the body shape he is. Like, people that play rugby aren't big and broad because they play rugby. They play rugby because they're big and broad. It's the webbed toes. <laughs> yeah. Do we have any Swedes in the server? I'm pretty sure we do. Phelps did well because of drug abuse. Yeah, but we could all take drugs. So we got to factor in the, the shape of him at some point. Like, I'm, I'm fairly built for rugby as well. I would say. Like, not at any professional level, right? But I'm more suited to rugby than maybe football. But that's mainly because I hate football. I'm built for hunching over an art table. I do like golf, actually. Golf is the other game I like. But that's mainly because I like... I don't give a shit about being good at golf. I just enjoy the walk and the occasional donk of a club. But go golf is like crack. Golf is the worst game to enjoy. Because what golf is, is you, you go on a nice walk, you hit the ball about 80 times, and if you're like me, 79 of those times, it'll be awful. And then one will be perfect, right? It will rival Nick Faldo, okay? You could be on the PGA Tour with the shot that you just did. And you're like, oh, I'm going to come back then. <laughs> All I need to do <laughs> is do that every time. <laughs> then you come back and you'll do another round of 80 and 79 of the shots will be shit and one of them would be good. And you're like, oh, yeah, okay. Doom, 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 doom. I'm a water noodle. Yeah, I don't know why. I don't know why I'm that way. Like hippies would tell you it's because I'm a I'm a cancer. Like my star sign. Like I'm a water sign. That's why I like the swimming so much. But I honestly don't know why I like swimming so much. Maybe I like it because my body's built for it. You know, maybe it's one of those things. 
I'll tell you what we'll do for some variety today as well, chat. Because I want to be on for about four hours. Stopping at six for date night. Um, is go plant some more crops. Because we still need a lot of money for this wagon as well. But yeah, like I've been a... I've been a kid. I've, I've been a kid for 40 years was what I was about to say. No, like from my earliest age. Like if you ask my parents like, well, what was Jay like when you took him on holiday? Because I think like most kids in the 90s, you know, every every holiday was just, you know, a complex somewhere. The classic, you know, half board with a swimming pool or whatever. And I would literally just get in the swimming pool at the start of the holiday, get out to eat. And then that would be about it. That's all I would do. Hey, dancing. Thank you for the follow. Donkey, thank you very much for subbing with Prime. I just hate existing in a swimsuit and being wet. Yeah, I, I get that spaghetti. I, I think... I think I went through a phase where I was like, I'd rather wear a t-shirt at the swimming pool. And my son does, by the way. He's 12 and he, he doesn't like... You know, he likes to have a, a t-shirt and shorts on kind of deal. I mean, I'm lucky. A, I'm male, so I get less shit about it. But I also, I don't give any fucks. Like, like this body might not be perfect, but it's kept me alive for 40 years and allowed me to do some wonderful stuff. So if you look at my body and you're like, look at that fat bastard. Couldn't give a shit. If that's what you think when you look at me, you are not a person whose opinion I should value. NPCs words. They're all NPCs. What is it I said? If they're not uh, feeding you, fucking you, or funding you, their opinion is irrelevant. <laughs> that's my saying. There's like two people's opinion in my life who I actually value and everything. Everyone else can just get to shit. Fuck the sun. I mean, don't. Not unless you get like factor 50,000 suntan lotion. Although that's true. Yeah, I have to protect my tattoo because it's so beautiful. Like, I'm already sad because like, I want. I don't think there is, right? There's nothing you can really do to refresh tattoos, is there? Biz! Hey, Biz! Welcome to my super secret roleplay channel. Shh. It's a secret we don't tell nobody. The sun is a mass of incandescent gas. No, it's not, Uri. The flat earth has told me that it's just a great big ball of fire. And how's that possible in space where there's no air? Huh? Huh? Checkmate, Globers. I found him. <laughs> How you doing, Biz? Ruffle, Globers. Checkmate. How, chat, how are we alive in 2024 and there are still people arguing about whether the earth is a globe? I just... I just fucking can't. How's Ranch treating me? Really good. Really well. There's some great RPers here. Um, and a few big ones have been banned from Wild that have come across here in the last few weeks, so that's nice. <laughs> I am really enjoying these streams, though. It's so chill. Especially Scooter. I think Roscoe might be over at some point. <gasps> dum, 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 dum. But yeah, cringe. Ranch, uh, you know, I've, I've, I don't want to lay with the point, but since Wild, I've tried and failed about three times to get back into Red Dead roleplay, and it's never felt right and i've and, and the wounds have still been a bit too raw but this feels right this time which is nice 
Plus, the sheer amount of Civ mechanics here and Civ roleplay is phenomenal. It's gonna take us so long to get these nuggies. It's gonna take us so long to get these nuggies. Sunscreen is sticky and ooh, but I know I might divide chat here. I really, really like the smell of sunscreen. Not, I don't particularly like the smell itself, right? That's okay, right? It's the, it's the memory, right? I smell sunscreen. I'm like, oh, it's holiday. Like, that's it. That's, that's what it really is. It's the conjurement of the feelings of being on holiday. And I'm just like, oh, yes. Cal, you gorgeous bastard. Thank you very much for subbing. You're not supposed to sub to this channel. <laughs> Why am I so uncomfortable? I, do you know what? Doing the YouTube VODs channel has made me realize, holy fuck, do I pump out a lot of content. <laughs> I was like, there is so much shit going out into YouTube at the moment. How is anybody expected to keep up with this? Down, down. Um, but Pendragon should be, should be up there. I don't know. I, what I've started doing as well, chat, is I'm lo I'm uploading the VODs to YouTube, but I'm leaving them as unlisted until the HD version is available. Um, let me know if you don't care about that, because basically I don't I don't like to publish it when only 360p 360p is available, so I leave it until the HD is available, then I publish it. But it just means it takes like four hours more for YouTube to process it before I can publish it. Pumpkin! Thank you very much for six months in advance. You crazy, crazy bunch. Ooh, 360p. Exactly, yeah. Like somebody, um, like somebody commented on one of the YouTube videos a few weeks back saying like, oh, Jay, I don't know if something's gone wrong with the upload. This is only in 360p. <clears throat> and I'm like, oh no, it's, it's in 1080, but YouTube have to process it up to the HD. So that was when I was like, hmm, I think I'll leave it until they're in HD. Enjoy your walk, top hat. Please give the doggy big scritches from me. I want to know who got the founders badges on this channel. In fact, I think I think I can check. I can't remember. I, I, I think there's somewhere I can check who's got the founders badges. Asabat did. Oh, yeah, there it is. Oh, Spaghetti did as well. I don't know how many Founders badges there are. Five? Mumbly did. Okay. Oh, no, it's not Mumbly. Jinx did. Lex did. Perfect did. Oh, I think... Oh, so that's four. There's a mystery one somewhere. I think... I, th I think Sales might have got it. Maybe. Oh, and Gems. There you go. Gems is the other one. Thank you, Gems. I'm going to have to come up with some cowboy-themed sub badges and stuff now. Is it 10? I can't remember. All I remember is it was it was five when they first bought it in. Um, that's exactly what I was thinking, Jules. Did I just say that out loud before you said that? Oh, thank you, Gems. Yeah, I was literally thinking sheriff's badges that get more detailed for the longer sub you are. So like, I don't know, three months would be, or one month would be just a silver star. Three months, a silver star with a circle around it. Six months, you know, you get a gold sheriff's badge. Bam, bam. Ged! Hey, Ged, buddy. Associate deputy. Deputy, Sheriff, etc. etc. Damn, 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 damn. Dancing! Thank you for six... I'm... Bleh, I'm so embarrassed. Thank you, Dancing, for six months in advance. Fuck me. 
Uh, although, chat, Jesus Christ, if my retweet today is any sign of the times, I'm probably going to become a full-time streamer. Like, I don't... I don't... <sighs> Give it a year. I'm genuinely not convinced anyone's going to be able to afford to be a voice actor anymore. If you missed my tweet, it was basically uh, an email to a voice actor from what I, for what, for what I would assume is an intermediary, like third party media production company. And it was basically an email to them saying, hi, we've had confirmation from the BBC. We can use the AI, AI voice, so we won't need um, Sarah's services anymore. <laughs> Yay! Shame on you, BBC. There's a reason I don't pay for a TV license. Yeah, but it's what I said, chat. I, you know, like it's one of those occasions where I don't want to be right, but I said corporate and commercial were the, were the things that were really going to cut the legs out from voice actors. And yeah, like, like, I'm not, I know I play the idiot chat, but I'm not an idiot. There's a reason I moved into streaming when I did was because I, I need to have some kind of other way of making money because VO is going to go down. Like, you won't be able to be a voice actor. You won't be able to solely be a voice actor in the coming years. You're going to have to be doing something else. Like, if, if it's a component alongside stage and screen, then great. But the days of actually being a full-time VA are, are very numbered. But luckily, I fucking adore Twitch and streaming because it's a nice creative outlet. So I'm a happy bunny. I just want to do... My motto in life now, as far as work goes, is I just want to work on good stuff with good people. And that's it. down, down, down. Down, 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 down. For sure, donkey. Yeah. And, uh, you know, not every VA can be a good streamer. In the same way that not every streamer can be a good voice actor. Um, but there, you know, there's certainly skills that transfer across. I think it depends. It depends on what kind of actor you are and what kind of personality you are. I think. I did Polestar. Yeah. Right, I mean, it's good news for me, potentially. It depends, though. Like, fewer people subbing, subbing it for higher cost might mean my income doesn't change at all. So, I think it's one of those ones where I'll have to see. Um, and they're, they're phasing out Prime subs, I think, aren't they? In, like, July or something? If you build it... Chaos goblins will come. I think, I think, ghouls, I think. It was in their recent announcement about all the changes to Partner Plus and stuff. There, there was something they're changing about Prime. Um, and I think, in all honesty, like, yeah, I know Twitch is owned by Amazon, but the impression I get is that Twitch is very much on its own. Like, I don't think Amazon gives a shit. I don't think they give them, you know... They just bought Twitch, and that's pretty much it. They just take their money. Um, essentially, I think it's too expensive. It's too expensive for Twitch to keep giving everybody free subs. I think. Yeah, it's weird, Bauchala. So there's there's all this idea of like local currency now for Twitch. And I don't know, I don't know if the tur if the price for Turbo, I think, is going up as well. Which I think, if you watch, like, more than two streamers, Turbo is great, is great value for money. You can't deny that. They have some new situation where you can watch any stream ad-free for 15 a month. Okay, so yeah, that's, that's Twitch Turbo. But of course, like everything, flip side of that is... Whilst that sort of supports the streamer, it doesn't really. Because, yeah, I remember when, when Twitch brought in local pricing. Um, my income maybe halved. 
I, like, I get it. Don't get me wrong. It's, it's great. Like, it's great for people in countries that don't have the same buying power as every other country around the world. But yeah, my, my income just fucking fell through the floor. Yeah, that's it. Um... Now, Chala, how do I actually say your name? Because I always like to get people's names right. Um, I forgot what I was going to say now. Yeah, so we, we get so we get something about ad revenue with Turbo, but it doesn't count in any subscriber way. It's like we get a cut of the ad revenue that they don't see because they've got to... I don't know. Am I on Cameo? I'm not dancing, mainly because I... And I mean this with all the love in the world. Because I know you lot... Um, are here. I'm not well known enough to be on Cameo. I don't even think I would be, I don't even think I'd be allowed to create an account on Cameo. Like Loch. So Boch. Boch Alla. Oh my god, that's so much more fun to say than how I've been saying it. Ooh. Ooh, Alla. Sorry, I pressed the wrong button. I was trying to press mute. <laughs> Bukala? Bukala. You could. Oh, Millie's. Yeah, Millie's on Cameo. She's well known enough to be on Cameo. You muted and the angelic choirs sang. I was just, ch I was just channeling Barnabas. Go on. Rather than blue ball you, here's what it actually was. Scooter! Scooter! Stay away from the light, Scooter, no! It offered me to create a Cameo account? Yeah, but probably just as a... Because you get two different kind of Cameo accounts, right? You get, like, Cameo account as a... as a... fan. I hate that word. But, like, as a fan, and then a Cameo account as a... as a talent as they like to say it. <laughs> there is so many, like, I hate the word content, chat. Both Millie and I hate the word content. I don't know why. It's the right word. I don't even know what I would put myself on Cameo for. A new law has passed. There you go, that's it. I've had an email from the uh, from the guy doing the Scooter Brown theme tune chat. Um, he's hoping to send me something through to sing along to for the lyrics. I'm so oh, I'm so excited. I'm such a lucky fucking dude. I'm so lucky that someone was just watching. Um, they were just watching the Scooter vod on YouTube. I'm like, oh, you mentioned you you would like to collaborate with a musician. I'll do it. And I was so happy. And now I need to try to figure out getting an actual visual uh, intro to go along with it. Because people take content too seriously, which if it's how you support yourself, I can't exactly blame them, but it still gets a bit shudder sometimes. Yeah. Please like and subscribe my content. Contents of my bowels there's half an otter up there <laughs> uh talking of oh no i can't can i look i don't need to look hen dragon's probably up there what else would you call it i don't know vida like it's that's what i mean like it's the right word it's just become i don't know so diluted because there's such a sheer quantity of it now i suppose Let's see. All right, Pendragon has officially been... Uh... Oh, look, what a surprise, chat. It has limited ad suitability. Uh, request review. Immediately request review. All right, it should be in HD in about two hours. And then I will list it publicly. Back to golf, if I may. You may, you may. Have you listened to A Good Walk Spoiled by Malcolm Gladwell? It's so good in his episodes on Mike... Burb, Burb Gliers working on it pod. I have not. It sounds like I should. You did say in like the first 30 yeah. 
<laughs> That's true. That's true, Bukala. That was bad. Buk Bukala? Buchala. Is it? Do I pronounce the CH? Like, is it Buchala? Or Buch? 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 Bukala? 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 I'm probably putting a bit too much mustard on it now. Content creator lumps streamers in with the cringy political grifters. Yeah, yeah, it's true. Bye, cat. Go do meetings. The second. Fuck. I forgot which one I said second. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, streamer brain. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Streamer brain. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Uh, what I might start doing as well, chat, is if I go for a BRB during um, roleplay streams to get an appeal stuff, I'll put on like a 60 second ad then, and then hopefully that'll help like spread it out. Oh, so like Bushala. Bushala? I don't mean to put you in the spotlight, by the way, Bushala. No, only happy song. What song is this? I need to take this out of the playlist. It's too serious. No, no, Loch. Ooh. Like Loch. But Loch's only got one, one O in it. Boot. Like, is it like a Scouser saying book? Is it like Buch? Buchala. Bo Bochala. I love languages chat. It's fucking great. <laughs> I mean, I could probably... Is it like a common... Uh, Buch? Actually, yeah. Buch. Buchala. Is it like a common name? Uh, in, in your language? It's pronounced GIF. Shut your goddamn mouth. <laughs> I still haven't watched the other guys, Christina. Still need to. That's a surname. Oh, okay. I guess I guess kind of the same question. Like, is it a common surname? Is it like, you know, Smith or Jones or something? Any of those horribly Anglo-Saxon names? I think, I think. I could be completely wrong. I think the origin of my surname is French. I think. I think I think basically it, is, it like wields its way back to Brittany. Monsieur Breton. Oui, oui. Oui, oui, poupou. That's one of the that's one of the reasons I can uh, speak so many languages flawlessly. Hello, Mr. Scooter. Any advice on getting motivated to get fit? Well, Maddie, here's the thing. Your body is like a wagon, and you a passenger upon it. Now, what you have to consider is that that wagon has to carry you a long way. And trust me, the further you get to travel on that wagon, the better. So take care of your wagon, and let's see the wonderful places it will take you throughout your life. My old surname meant... Oh yeah, shit. I forgot. I forgot. I completely forgot. It was a restart. Do it again! My body is a temple, but it's a temple to Buddha. Hence why I am a little pudgy around the mid area. Bam, 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 bam. Now, I've done a little whoopsie because I uh, didn't get somewhere before the restart, which means my I'm now alone on that little edge there um, with no horse. <laughs> so we get a little bit of a walk back to uh, back to wherever it is we're going. Blackwater. Blackwater. My family's surname was changed when they immigrated from Norway. Ooh. Like, I'll be honest, I don't give a shit about my name. Not really. My surname, I don't. The only reason I wouldn't change my surname is 
so that I've got still got the same surname as my kids. Is Teague doing okay? We haven't uh, we haven't come across Teague actually in a while. See, we got twenty seven uh, nuggies this morning, chap. That's not actually... 27 is actually... That's better, I feel like. I feel like we haven't been here that long to have 7 already. Uh, 27 already. I feel like that's an improved rate. Oh, yeah. Scooters. Like, sometimes it doesn't load all your clothes back on properly. You have to take the coat off and put it back on, and then it gets happy. <coughs> Good old black water. Oh no, it's still uh, it's still gone wonky. Is it his coat or is it his shirt? Oh, there you go. That's how Scooter should pan. There you go. I'm so sad we couldn't make him real chunky. John, that's what we should do for Scooter panning. I'm reading about the Britain surname now. It's very possible the Britons were friends with the Bindons same era and locale could you imagine christina if we're like i don't know 27th cousins twice removed or something that'd be hilarious i did do uh ancestry a little while back i don't think i found anything interesting out mainly because i refused to pay for it can't expect me to pay for a service like some chump <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry, Tylian. Enjoyed. Enjoy your work if you can. That's like everyone in the Commonwealth. Yeah, pretty much. I think we might be able to get our first gold pass soon. Oh, all British people are related to William the Conqueror. Like we talked about this vaguely, I think last Red Dead stream. It's one of one of the reasons why I, like, I hate I hate the idea of having a nationality. But I particularly hate the idea of anyone in England being like, Yeah, not British! Like, dude, neither are you. You fucking mongrel. We're just an absolute... All of Europe is just a complete mongrel melting pot. You know, that period we just spent centuries invading. And then X A invaded B, then B invaded C, then C invaded D, and D invaded B, and B invaded A, and then C invaded A. And then everyone went and lived on A for a while, and then they went back to D. Bam, bam, bam. I always love those because you always catch the racists out like that. They're not British. All right, well, what makes you British? Being born in Britain. All right, well, that person that you're moaning about was born in Britain. Yeah, but they're not British, though. What? <laughs> In Canada, it's called a cultural mosaic. And in the States, it's called a melting pot. British. I feel like every one of those radio calls just gets to a point where you just like, just say you hate brown people, okay? We all get it. All right, we all understand. Stop trying to dance around what you want to say. We all know. It's the classic, you know, whenever the call starts. Like, listen, right? Like, listen, though, right? I'm not a racist, but... Dot, dot, dot. All right. Mark from Clappen, 32. They also hate the Polish and the Irish. Yeah, but I'm quarter Polish. Why would they hate quarter of me? It's the best quarter. It gives me my work ethic and delicious tasting sausage. Seriously, if you haven't ever had authentic um, uh, Polish garlic sausage. Oh my God. It's built different, chat. All right, it's built different. I think, I think for me... Um, when I when I did get my DNA done, I think 
Like, like, yeah, the bulk of my DNA was... I don't remember what it comes up as on the thing, but like, you know, white European English or whatever it comes up as. But only, only about something like... I want to say about 40%, maybe? And then I was like 30% Eastern European, 20% Nordic, like Swedish, Norway, and then and then smattering of others. Hang on. I'm intrigued now. Now we're talking about it. I'm intrigued now. Let's 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 see exactly what Jay's DNA makeup is. Because I don't remember, but I remember be there being a, a vague smattering. Damn, damn. Let's have a look. All right, let's have a look. D DNA, your results summary. Uh, uh. Oh, I don't want to explore the traits. Oh, there we go. Oh, yeah, that was it. That was Scottish. There was quite a lot of Scottish in me. Okay, apparently... Okay, so I am... Uh, oh, God, come on. Right, I am 30... This is a dreadful website. 30% uh, England and Northwestern European. All right, so that's... That's not even just English, right? That's English and Northwestern European. 21% Scottish. That's what I mean, see? My English part is only 30%. Then 21% Scottish. 18% uh, Germanic. 14% Europe and Russia. In which it specifically calls out Southeast Poland, which is where my grandparents are from. 7% uh, Irish. 6% Welsh. 4% Baltics. That's my makeup. Uh, this is from Ancestry.co.uk. So, yeah. Like, there's only 9% that makes England and Northwestern Europe my um, largest percentage, yeah. Bam, 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 bam. So, Jaycon is now a family reunion. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, like like most people on this continent, or at least the ones living on this island, I'm a fucking mongrel. I'm all sorts of stuff. But like it's crazy it can pick out the exact region of Poland. Like my grand my granddad grew up uh with his mom, dad, sister, and two brothers on the east coast with Russia. Like, he wasn't very far from the border with Russia. Which is my, my, why my granddad uh, hated the Russians. Like, d d he didn't really care about the Germans, but he hated the Russians. <gasps> Thank you, Top Hat! He, uh, he got a yawn and I got a yawn and a happy spin! <gasps> That's it. My week is complete. My week is complete. You're Croatian. That's all you got. Have you done a DNA test, Vida? Because I want to see. I want to see it say 100% Croatian because that would, that would be amazing. Down. Oh, look at this sunset. They show pretty. I don't feel like we're doing as well this time. Bob, thank you very much for subbing, Bob. My dad's on the side of the family is French Canadian. Mum's was Finnish, French, Canadian, Irish. See, this is, like, all of us in chat are just proving, like, nobody has gone, I'm 100% American. 42% English and 42% Native American is mine. That's a cool mix. 
See, there you go, Vita. Don't deny your mongrel roots. We are all a hideous mix. I'm a hundred percent a twat. Oliver, Oliver, have you been hearing the the Scooter Brown theme tune news? I know it's taken like two years, but exciting things are happening. Damn, I'm a hundred percent sleepy. <laughs> I, I identify as an ethereal consciousness given presence in the conscious universe through the medium of a skeletal meat bag. I, I identify as a fucking problem. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Down, ba down. Cultural ethnicity is fascinating. Apparently in China, 90%, 90 plus percent identify as Han Chinese. But statistically, that is impossible given the size of population of the country. But Han is the preferred ethnicity, so everyone claims it. Interesting. The rest is Sweden, Denmark, Ireland, Scotland, and Wales. Proper Viking, yeah. I identify as please don't make small talk if you sit next to me. That's what I identify as. I'm surprised like when when anybody makes small talk with me somewhere, I try to, like, I'm not mean, right? I'm perfectly friendly. But I don't know how they don't notice my initial <sighs> Hi, yeah, how you doing? <laughs> Like there's always, uh, there's always an initial little eye roll slash breath. It's like, oh fucking hell, alright, we're doing this. Hi, how you doing? Great. Yeah, no, the bus is late. Yeah. Oh, buses. Hey, should we talk about that for ten minutes? Great. Oh. I identify as an awkward introvert. I'm I like Millie I just took Millie yeah, Millie had to tell me that I was even this like I don't lack confidence if you didn't notice that chat I don't lack confidence outwardly right like I can act like I've been on Twitch front page with like 20,000 viewers and I, I I didn't bother me right like confidence is not an issue if I have to outwardly do something so I'm very much an extrovert in that way and I will be life of the party you know, very friendly, keep the energy of a room up, whatever, you know? And then, and then I'm just like, okay, and now everyone just fuck off. And Millie was like, yeah, you're an introvert. I'm like, but what? That's not possible. How do I, you know, how do I go on stage and sing and not really give a shit? She's like, yeah, because you're an extroverted introvert. I'm like, that just seems at odds with itself. I think you're making this up. And she's like, no, no, it's a thing. <laughs> I was like, oh, all right then. I was like, does that explain why I hate everybody? I talked to my neighbor yesterday and he asked what my dog's name is. And it's Nova. He was like, named after a Chevy, isn't it? I roll. Is that when you just you go, what's that, love? Yeah, I'll come in. Sorry, gotta, gotta go. Christine, if you get my wife's name right. Thank you very much for uh, Bram Sherb. It's almost like people aren't 100% anything. Baseball, look, you can't come in with logical facts. I'm having a conversation on the internet. Cut that shit out. Maybe 53% Scots Irish, 23% Gallican. Is that how you pronounce that? 6% English, 6% Scandi. Oh my god, the first was muted and the second was super loud. Oh, what, the ads? Yay. Galician? Is that it? 
Gal or Galizian. Galizian. Top hat. Thank you for gifting the sub to Mumbly. There you go, Mumbly. Ads be gone. Except what's his name? The late night host with the red hair. Uh, Conan? Conan O'Brien? I don't blame you, Raving. I thought, honestly, I was I was absolutely wiped yesterday after the show. And I thought I was going to take today off. But then I, I kind of woke up really motivated for shit, which was nice. Mainly because at the end of a shit day yesterday, just before bed, I got some very good news. Which mitigated the shit news at the beginning of the day. So I was like, actually, do you know what? It's all come up a bit Millhouse. So that's fine. And I got up today and I did some, you know, uh, voice worky stuff. Which was which was nice fun work. I like I always like nice fun work. And I was like, yeah, fuck it, let's go do some schedule brown. Edited 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 edited, edited up the Pendragon bot. Chuck that up. I mean that's real small percentage though, Polestar. But again, like, I mean, Christina, uh, local genetics expert, <laughs> will we'll know. Um, I would assume, right, being like 0.3% Northern Indian, it kind of depends which part of your genetics is 0.3, right? Like, if it was the bit that controls skin tone, then maybe. But if it's just something else entirely, it might have no impact whatsoever. Like, outwardly, do you know what I mean? I'm not I'm not sure like there, funny enough there is a thing on An ancestry that says like um uh you, ha you look at what each of these DNA bits means for you which I think is va vaguely new because that wasn't there when I actually got my results I'm totally a put together human who looks at a calendar sometimes yeah. I'm looking forward to not this. Well, no, I am looking forward to this coming weekend because I got my kids for four days and we're going to a little holiday camp, which would be nice. Um, but, you know, those of you who got kids, four days with kids, doing stuff with them constantly for four days is a lot of is a lot of, you know, energy. And I love it. It's great. But I'm looking forward to the weekend after, which is empty. Then I shall fall down. Oliver. Oliver, did you hear what I said about the theme tune? Right, the theme tune, seeing the theme tune. So, Oliver, I was chatting on stream the other day about, uh, I wish I knew, uh, I wish I had the money to employ like a bunch of musicians to write stuff for stream. And I was like, here, look, this is what Oliver Fist did years back. With this, with this initial idea of like a scooter theme tune. Somebody watched the VOD and emailed me with an already arranged little tidbit of music, like 15 seconds. I'm like, hey, I heard you uh, wanting to collaborate with, mu with musicians. I put this together and it's got like banjo, guitar, drums in it. Little bit of scooter theme tune. So I've just sent him back this morning. Um like me singing the tune and improvising a little bit on the melody and all that kind of stuff. Um, and he's going to, he's going to put together like a full theme tune with an actual band and shit. So your lyrics will be brought to life in a fully mixed theme tune. So I thank you. I thank you very much for the uh, genesis of that. But yeah, I couldn't believe it when he, when I got an email, it's like, Hey, here's some music. And I was like, what the fuck? Just so we can make my singing sound good. I do a weird thing when I sing. Like, I don't know if you guys want to hear it. It's only dry audio of me singing. But, like, I took what the melody you'd done, Oliver. But then when I sing, it's a bit like singing improv, I guess. But it's real bad, Kastrina. Like, it was just at my desk. I wasn't even, like, trying to be in tune, pretty much. I was like, let's just sing something. Um, Basically, like, singing improv and I don't know any singers in chat whether you get this, where you're singing a melody and you're just like, my brain just wants to take it here to this note and this riff. 
It's really cool when it happens. It's like a weird kind of improv. I try again after like five whiskeys, right? There's no expectation of being... Well, I kind of sang it a little bit just like me. All right, chat. This is on your head, okay? This is on your head. And I'm sorry if this is really bad, okay? But bear in mind, this is going to have music behind it and be mixed and everything else, okay? And I was also out of breath and tired, okay? Here we go. Oh, hang on. Hang on. It's on a different fader. Eh. Eh. It's have you heard have you heard the talk have you heard the clamor about this legendary folk a man of grace and glamour he's got wisdom in his eyes so much makes you sick but what's a great surprise is the size of his scooter brown he's known throughout the town Scooter Brown, he'll turn that frown upside down. Scooter Brown, he's a local celebrity. Scooter Brown, everybody say who we. Let me tell you about this man the folks find quite perplexing. Some people cannot stand to find him rather vexing. The kooky sort of fella, the kind you might grow fond of. His belly's big, but it ain't yellow, and hides his anaconda. Scooter Brown, he's known throughout the town. Scooter Brown, he'll turn that frown upside down. Scooter Brown, he's a local celebrity. Scooter Brown, everybody say who we. So there you go. That's what I said to the, uh, to the, yeah, guy who's working on the music. I was like, that'll do. Let's just quickly throw that together. So I hadn't warmed up. I was sat down. I wasn't in the studio. I was like, that'll do. That just gives him the shape. I did say you can auto-tune that to fuck if you need to. <laughs> but yeah, I don't know about Holliver. Could you hear the bits where I was like, because you're I know you're a singer, Holliver, and you are a fantastic singer. I miss hearing you in, in role play. Um just those little bits where your brain goes, oh, I want to go here. I love those little bits. Like the ending was just improv. Here's where it feels like the melody goes. Oh yeah, I mean the the the, the final who we will absolutely be changed to to scooter, a hundred percent. Try and I just want to like I'll try and follow it in on the on the visuals. Bam 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 ba down. So yeah, there you go, chat. That's a very very rough cut of the lyrics and melody but the shit this guy's putting together behind it amazing i love music so much chat all right how many how many nuggies have we got 41 okay let's get to 50 and then we'll go in Scooter Brown. How much better are recordings that come out of your studio than what you can do at your desk? Oh, infinitely better baseball. Yeah, infinitely. The, 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 the main issue with the ones at my desk is, is the noise gate. So my mic on stream has a pretty aggressive noise gate. So for actual audio, it tends to clip. You don't notice on stream, but for like clean audio, it tends to clip the very, very beginning of the sentences. We're talking about 200 300 milliseconds but you can tell when you actually listen to the like dry audio um it's already pre-eq'd as well um so like there's a little bit of extra bass in this eq mix there's a little bit of extra mid tone there's a little bit reduced high tones um like this has already got a compressor built into it which again is great because it means i can shout without blowing out the mic but you know compressor does its own things to music whereas the stuff that comes out of the studio is much more raw and you get much greater variance or like you you pick up more of the audio tones of the voice is it bad that whenever i find out a good actor can sing well my immediate reaction is oh fuck them 
No, spaghetti. I have the same reaction. <laughs> I have the same reaction. Anytime, it's like anytime someone sits down at a piano and just knocks out some rhythm and blues, I'm just like, oh, go die in a fire. Do you know what I mean? How dare you? <laughs> How dare you? I, I don't know if I ever will, but I, like, I love uh, piano, rhythm and blues. God, I love piano and rhythm and blues. If I could play, if I could choose like one instrument and one genre of music to be really shit hot at, it would be rhythm and blues on piano. Like boogie woogie, rhythm and blues, honky tonk. I absolutely adore it. Fuck. <laughs> now I'm humming my own theme tune. You self-aggrandizing bastard. Have you heard Postmodern Jukebox? Yes. Ooh. <sighs> oh, God. Who's... There's another... So, like, they're like Postmodern Jukebox. If you like uh, orchestral scores. Um, fuck, what are they called? I can't remember anymore. And the community member that introduced me to them has left. Oh! But they play cinematic scores, but um, like pop songs, but as a cinematic score. It's like um, the, one of their best ones is The Beatles, Eleanor Rigby. Two Steps From Hell. No! Oh my god, Cat! I don't know anyone that knows Two Steps From Hell. Um, uh, High Seas, Two Steps From Hell. Oh my god, one of my most favorite favorite orchestral um uh pirate themed pieces of music and i wish i could use it on stream high seas for my curse captains uh ttrpg campaign <gasps> want to use it so much um who is this other artist that i'm thinking of though that cinematic cinematic scores like i might be able to play like five seconds of them maybe <clears throat> What are they called? I'm probably, I must have them as a playlist, surely. Because I know, I know the people, like, guys that are here, you will adore them because they're exactly other playlists. Oh, who the hell were they? It's going to really drive me mad. <clears throat> I wonder if I can just search for um, Eleanor Rigby Orchestral. Yeah, see, I don't recognize any of these albums, artists, playlists, episodes. No, I just, I just want the tracks. It's gonna drive me mad. What the hell are they called? Codify? I don't think so. Oh, hang on. Uh... No, it's not them. Oh, God damn it. What was this? Ah, how do I not have it? This is going to drive me insane, Jack. I don't know. Why don't I have them played? Uh, have them saved. Liked from radio. <laughs> Liked from radio is the first step. The first one on it is um, two steps from hell. Uh, did it down. I'm just, I'm so sad, chat. Where, who is it? Feel good soundtracks, country pop ensemble. It's not Aperture Science. Light songs. Damn. Sit now, chat. This, this is just the stream. Did I like the Eleanor Rigby song? <gasps> oh, 
Oh, black coffee is great as well, if you like that kind of stuff. Black coffee I enjoy. Toss a coin to your Witcher. Got it, I've got it, I've got it. Wait, wait, this is them. Um, album, All the Lonely People, from... There we go, it's called Cinematic Pop. There we go, chat, got it. I'll play like five seconds of this. But this is Eleanor Rigby. Let me skip to the middle. Right? That's them. Let me grab a let me grab your link to the album because it is phenomenal. Right. So basically they take pop songs and turn them into cinematic pieces. So they've got Ellen Rigby, Billie Jean, Take On Me, Prodigal, Hurt, Dream On. Sunday Candy, Had Enough, Falling on Angels, Sweet Dreams, uh, Come Together, and Bohemian Rhapsody. Yeah, like their version of Bohemian Rhapsody is insane. Hi, Doc! Oh my god, is that Archbjorn? Is that Archbjorn? Oh, hello, Archbjorn. What are you doing watching Twitch? You, can see, you might see some ladies' boobies. Be very careful. I'm so glad I found it, chat. I'm happy now. You can all go about your days now. Down, down. One of the two most holy men in the church. Yeah, that's us. That's us. <laughs> what absolute nonsense that show is. Bad idea, we're down. The, the, the scene didn't go in the right direction, Doc, but I was going to tell Ashbjorn that I would protect his penis. Yeah. I felt it was my, it was going to be my duty as your senior father. There's always next week. Are you telling me I should do a callback to your penis? All right, three more nuggies, chat, and we can get out of here. Here's a question, chat, because most of you here will have probably been watching Pendragon. Do, do you prefer having everybody on cam at all times? Or would you rather do, would you rather have what I was doing, which was what, um, having the focus on whoever is in the scene at the time? It's partly for the players as well, so they don't have to constantly be on for three plus hours. Um, especially because I think everybody except me and Tom in that cast has ADHD. So the distraction of being able to do something else. <laughs> Is is usually welcomed. But to be fair, from the next episode, we'll we'll be all together for most of it, I think. Should I start a poll? Democracy on the relaxed channel. Outrageous. Jay, I have one Briton in my DNA matches on Ancestry. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Mother. Do you know Paulette? I, I know a Paulette. <laughs> <laughs> and that's not that common a name. <laughs> I know, I know, I know a Paulette, but they're not a Briton. Doom, <laughs> 
It's weird that you picked that. I, I like. I don't want it to. I don't want to give out too much information publicly, but I'll DM you wh why I know a Paulette, and it's it's more amusing than it just being a random person I know. How common is the Britain name? <sighs> Not that common, to be honest. Not that common. Like I I haven't really met. Um. I haven't really met any other Britons. The only other Briton I know is the one who has the same name as me. Uh, Jay Britton, the funeral singer. Wait, you've met the Jay Britton? Oh, no, I've never met them. Sorry, I meant, like, met, but as in know of. <clears throat> I did, did I, I told I told chap but so basically there's another there's a semi semi famous funeral singer called Jay Britton um she's a soprano singer I think and she does like sings at funerals but also like you know big events and stuff and I got a call one day from a funeral director asking to book me and the temptation just to accept the booking and turn up was very high oh I got distracted chap we got 52 now but I was nice. I called them back and I was like, this is not the Jay Britain you are looking for. I could turn up to a funeral and do stuff, but I don't think you want me to. <laughs> I don't think any of us want that. <laughs> All right. Now Scooter has to try and swim across to um, the Blackwater. Supposedly you can trace your ancestry back to Irish royalty. Ooh la la. I would put the fun in funeral. Yeah, I would. You successfully ordered presents from your cat's birthday tomorrow? Yay! What do you get them? Or should we not know? Is it going to be a surprise, you know? I don't know if this gets swimmable or if it's... Oh, it's walkable. Okay. It's walkable, chat. Look at, like, look at the detail on that, though. Like, accurate watermarks. Go yourselves, Rockstar. That's just too much, isn't it? Scooter's first bath in Mod City is... Oliver, the only sad thing about Ranch is they don't have a bath animation yet. Like, everything else is equal to or ahead of Wild in what I've experienced so far. Um, and they are working on the bath system, and knowing Ranch, it'll be really good when it comes. But I do miss being able to have a bath. A new one, a snuffle food puzzle mat. Fuck, I want one of those. An automatic ball in a bag thing for her to pounce on. And catnip sardines. That sounds like a good feast. No creepy bath RP? Devastating. Oliver, the real issue is lack of bubble bath song for me to play. Meow, meow, meow. That was terrifying on Sundance. So in in single player chat, you can um you can go to the bathhouse, right? And and a bath attendant will come in and wash you down in sundance roleplay server that was on ages back you could they had a same bath system but it was just roll the dice as to who or what came in to give you a bath and it was terrifying it was fucking terrifying <sighs> your package is still saying preparing to ship i don't it's already packaged just send it you useless postal services what do you mean by what? Well, it basically was like a random character generator. So sometimes Shrek came in. Sometimes it would be like a, a half nude shaved headed woman, but with a man's face. It was it was just it was awful. 
<laughs> oh yeah, there's a few there's a few mixed mixed genitalia packages going on. Yeah. That was interesting. Like you'd get like you'd get like some really, really huge woman to come in with but with a great big beard as well. It was great. It was so good. Holy shit. Now I want to go back, go back and watch the G.I. Joe films. Also, hi, Susie. Can we get a shout out for Susie, please? Sasana. The ironically straight man of the group. Eh, 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 eh. Uh, there we go. Did you have fun last night, Susie? This is what happens on ranch chat when you forget to bring your horse. Ooh. Is there one in the... I think there's one in the bush as well. Yeah, okay. I mean, it's night time, but let's see if we can get a twofer. I'll be very quiet. We're hunting bucks. I don't know where the other one went. Show many cream buns. Honestly, Susie, all last night did, other than being great fucking fun. What's make me really hungry? Cream buns and street meat. Moist, tender, raw street meat. <laughs> That's disgusting. Hang on, let's see what this looks like in the cinematic. Oh! I mean, this music is far too epic for this, but still. Enough. This is much more Scooter. Here I go, reinstalling Red AM. I mean, you're, you're whitelisted on Ranch, right, Susie? I mean, I'm just saying. What's this detail? Freshly swept water. I love that. Christina, were you here yesterday when we came across a guy just in in a saloon playing Johnny Cash on guitar, IRL? That was phenomenal. Was that yesterday? Can't remember. Yeah, have a look in yesterday's VOD. Um, it's a really short VOD. It's about two hours. But if you find me in Valentine at the saloon. Yeah, he's great. It might have been Monday, actually, yeah. Oh, yeah, because yesterday we were just... Yes, it was Monday's stream. Because, yeah, we were pretty much just gold panning yesterday, I think. So, they will go drop these nuggies off in the Valentine Bank, because that's where we're collecting all the materials for our, our wagon. And then we'll go across to the ranch and plant some seeds. I'm enjoying my new country and western playlist, though. I'm going to add even more tracks to it soon. Uh, 
Come on, fake pickle. Oh, yay, fake pickle's got their lantern now. Oh, pressed the wrong button, got accidentally naked. All right, let's put the nuggets on pickle. For the right. Scooter Brown should record an, an album. He should. Fake Pickle, Real Lantern. That's Scooter's album name. <laughs> did you um? Did you RP much at all on uh, Ranch Susie? When because I know we all sort of got whitelisted around the same time. Lady Purple, thank you very much for the sub. Enjoy your role play. Let's put the nuggets on Pickle. Howdy. A dog? <gasps> I said dog chat. What was I going to do? I wanted to drink. It was pretty quiet when you were usually around. What time do you normally play, Susie? Because the one good thing about this server because it's got such an active population like i don't think i've ever really logged on with it much lower than 50. oh jesus christ around seven ish your time oh god okay well you you should question mark find it really busy now like by seven o'clock my time there's usually at least a hundred plus players on like easily a hundred plus but like after about nine o'clock my time the server's full you can't get in It's called a hunt of opportunity. Like if if these RP streams like stay not popular, I don't I hate to use that word, but if like RP maintains part of my streams, might have to look at paying ranch RP. But to be honest, I would probably only need to pay ranch RP. Um, if we were going to play often in the evenings, which is unlikely, to be honest. I kind of don't want to. Because <laughs> as soon as you start playing, like, 10 o'clock, 10 p.m. and onwards, you just... It's a bad way to go. That way, madness lies. We're gonna have to be careful because there may or may not be wolves up here. Let's make sure fake pickles got plenty of stamina. Like usually like on this corner here or up underneath Bard's Crossing, you get wolves. I'll get some furry dogs. Also, PD, thank you very much for subbing. I always feel the most awkward when mods sub. That's what feels the most awkward. I don't think you can drown 
uh, raving. I think you can only, um, I think you can only drown if you run out of stamina, um, while swimming, I think. But I've never, never tried. Now I pay you twice, so you have to be twice as nice. Deal. That's easy for me. Because I, thi I think if the water gets deep enough, your horse actually starts swimming as well. Jay being nice. I called you. What did I call you, Cal? Did I call you a gorgeous man or something? Wonderful man. I don't know. I'm sure I've been nice once. You know, just to try it out. <laughs> Should try everything once. Howdy! What a nice NPC. Try it out. Oh no, that's not for me. Put it right back on the shelf. Oh, I kind of want to show you guys what I was using for music yesterday. We didn't kind of show it off very much because we didn't really need any more than background music and stuff. But it's such an amazing app. You're committed to more J. So yeah, this is going to be my last stream. Um... <laughs> I downloaded the apps right, Susie. I can't wait until the desktop version comes. But it's just amazing. Like for, especially for like sitting around a table, um, TTRPGs, it would be just amazing. I'd say what, let me, um, let me very briefly. Mm -mm -mm. Well, I need to go for a pee anyway. So let me get up to Valentine and then we'll, I'll show you this app chat because it's really good for, for GMs. And thank you, yes, for all those... Well, I mean, thank you for every single sub. For those of you who have been ridiculous and subbed for six months. Wait, shit, that means I have to do at least six months of... roleplay now, right? Like, that's the deal? <laughs> shit. You don't have to do anything. No, no, Top Hat. You missed the bit where I am crushed by the weight of expectation upon myself. <laughs> Doesn't have to be ranch, I guess. That's true. I did I did get the ultimate compliment in my game session last night, which makes me really happy. Um I'm playing an American character in this game yesterday, and the uh the director is American. Uh, he's from New York. And we got to the end of the session and he's just like, your American accent. I like, I, until the end, I just completely forgot you weren't even American. And I was like, yes. Because there's always that little bit of doubt, chat. There's always that little bit of doubt. j -Pat World of Warcraft RP Guild. Was it Disney Dad American? Kind of, but like, you know, more realistically sad. It's, it's a young American guy, so, you know. Taking American VA jobs, you monster. Well, then they should be better actors. <laughs> Jeez, be better, all right? God. Please put me out of work. I beg of you. Someone asked me if I was Canadian the other day. I mean, look, bar the number of apologies, you sound the same, all right? <laughs> a young handsome American man with an easy smile in fact none of my characters on here use Gen Am have I watched Letter Kenny I think so yes 
Yeah, I mean that's true baseball. I don't I don't generally ever do I don't I have I've never done on stream the American accent I do for voice work. Like on stream it's always a slight caricature or exaggeration. Alright, let's take your nuggies. Yeah, but 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 the 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 words and the. All right, how we doing for nuggies? Oh, chat, we're twenty short. We're twenty short of our. F oh my God, we're twenty short of bar number one, chat. We're twenty short of bar number one. <laughs> It's going to be a while. Some time together. Oh, God, that sounds awful. Howdy, gentlemen. Hi there. Howdy. Right, we got to go and cook some uh, venison. Although, yeah, I do need to go and pee. How much does it cost to buy a bar? Don't know. And I'm kind of in it for the role play of having the grind of it. All right, what I'm going to do is let's park up here. I'm actually going to I'm actually going to log off so I can show you this um this D&D &D app and then I'll go for a, I'll go for a quick pee. Okay, so let me just hide this a second. I'll tell you what. Oh, look at that cinema mode. Hi, Jack. It am me. It am me. Uh, so we're looking for. I've got it tagged in my bar. All right, let me just set this up. But yeah, it's a very, very cool, uh, cool app, and it's only available on phone at the moment. So what I was doing last night is I basically use Android's uh, link to Windows feature, and that essentially will. Um, mimic my phone to Windows and then I can use apps from my phone in Windows. I know it's convoluted, but that's how I get it to work. There's lots of other ways you can do it, but it's just equally a pain in the ass. Okay, so let me just bring this up on my phone. Down, down, down. Uh, uh, down. Okay, so... Mm. This is what I had on my screen last night. It's just literally a replica of my phone, right? Eh. Eh. Hold. Just while I think while I think about it, hang on. <laughs> Let's eh. How do you even do this on a phone? Oh, there we go. Okay. Okay, so this is the app, right? It's called Magic Bard. So what you do is you go, okay, my players are in the city. And you've got the intensity uh, of the music. And then this is the ambience, okay? So let's say we're exploring in the city. You want some generic background music. Okay, there we go. It's a little bit too intense. Let's take it down. And you're like, okay, now I want the ambience to come in. So let's put in the ambience from the location. Fucking insane, chap. Uh, but there's a there's a river in this town. And my players are walking by the river, and now they've left the river behind. And the rain has started coming up. And in the distance, the church bell rings. So if you go back and in the VOD you hear that church bell, it's me manually pressing that bell noise. But this is where it gets very cool, okay? Okay, the rain stops. Let's keep it simple. I want to make it intense. 
Now combat starts. And it just magically segues it into the combat music. And you go, and now they've won. And then back to exploring. Yeah, Pocket Bard is the name of it. But then, like, you've got all these. Okay, now we go to uh, Dungeon. And it just fades across to it. Right. Was that the knocking too? So no. So I have on my stream deck, I have set up my own stream deck profile with preset sound effects for the campaign as well. So um, that's, that's me manually triggering that. They're all me. Um, this was the one for, I think it was this one for when Daisy got destroyed. So there you go, chat. That's that's how I was doing it yesterday. That's how that's how it worked. Um, they are working on a desktop uh, version of this, but for now you can only get it on your phone. So this is what I do to get it to come out of the PC and into stream. So I just mimic my uh, phone with the Windows featurinos. But there you go, chat. Right, I'm gonna go and have a quick pee, and then we'll um, we'll carry on with some uh, Scooter, Scooter Brown. I'm just going to, uh, for those of you who um, uh, haven't been able to sub, I'm just going to run a 60 second ad while I pee. Um, so that hopefully that means you guys won't get ads for a while when I come back. So I'll just flick that now. Call me Jacob, you can call me Jake, you can call me a dirty son of a bitch. But if you ever call me daddy again, I'll finish this fight. Why? Why? Angel! Why you do this to me? Why? Why you do this to me? Thank you ever so much for, uh... Zex Montag in Advancen. God. Such fluidity with my languages, Jim. Such fluidity. Mummy is here, Jay! I know. I said hello to Mummy. Haven't I? I feel like I've said hello to mummy. I think so. Uh, Susie, I don't know if you're still here, Susie, but by the way, uh, there are 70 players 
on Raj right now. 70 players. He pressed the wrong button for my camera chat. That one. There we go. And hello, mummy. Hello, mummy. That's so much shit in my office today. All right, here we go. You definitely didn't say hi to me, but I'll forgive you. Fuck. No, but I genuinely feel bad because in my head, I did. I just probably forgot to say it out loud. <laughs> no, I've still got my porridge bowl from the office on the desk. Hang on. little founder's badge decker Ooh, look at that founder's badge you sexy bitch Ooh, my horse is still here oh howdy doody all right let's go fly a kite okay i'm pretty sure We've got all the farming stuff in our, um, in our box. Honestly, Christina, while I'm not trying to say don't read the server rules, what I will say is if you're not a complete dick, you'll be fine. Like, the, literally, the only thing I would like have a look at is just make sure you understand what you can and can't remember when you got no when you get knocked down and how you get uh resurrected the rest of it as long as you're not a dick you're not really going to come across anything like it's basically don't be a racist don't meta game and don't be a dick if you follow that you're probably pretty gravy to be honest christina Fun fact, I have not sent that invoice. Uh. Do I just need to become everybody's PA? I'll do it. I will do it. Ah. Go on, go away. I'm a great PA. PAs are underrated. Oh. I'm pretty spry for an old guy. <gasps> Is that my son? I think that's my son. Oh, Teague. He said it's a... I need to know if you're safe. Down in Emerald Ranch, I heard stories of people being robbed and killed when smelting their golden iron, and you have likely been collecting some for Bubba to get the stagecoach. Please be mindful of yourself. I can't lose you already. Oh, Teague. If you need to smelt, make sure you go with a decent group. The robbers there have been found in groups of up to four. Stay safe. Your son. My boy, Teague. Teague McMullen. I uh, think we've read all the others. Oh, that's the original from Marianne. Okay, that's fine. Is that my boy? Oh, Scooter. Oh, my boy, I'm safe. I just, oh, oh I just read your telegram. I'm safe. Don't, don't worry. Daddy's here now. Oh my God, I was so worried. Yeah, I'm, I'm nervous I, I, now. I was, I was there, you know, maybe a day or two ago, smelting down my iron. Oh my. Oh Jesus. Yeah, that was literally a couple of days ago when people got uh, robbed. God damn. Well, I'm now, I'm Scooter Brown's luck is in. <laughs> you lived for what, sixty-seven years already? 
I'm sure that look is going to come in handy every once in a while. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. I was a bit worried because, hang on, let me be quiet. I've nearly got enough, if enough nuggies to do my, um, first go bar. Oh, really? Wait, yeah. first go bar? Yeah, I know. I got to think, well, it's 750 damn nuggets, okay? That's a lot of toes. Holy shit. How many, how many go bars do you need? I need five, and they're 150 nuggies a piece. Oh, my God. Yeah, I got to, I, I got to maybe 130, and I've been panning for two days. You should have contacted me to help with it. Well, you know, it's it's not on a father to make uh, the sons carry the weight of my responsibilities, boy. I guess that's well. It's kind of it's kind of our business in a way. So I lay some of the responsibility. Well, okay, that's true. Get out there and do some goddamn panning, boy. Uh, uh, yes, sir. I'm sorry. I was just about to head to the ranch, actually put some more potatoes down, make some money for the horses and such. Oh yeah, that'd be a grand idea. Yeah, you a bit uh stress relieved up to you know your arthritis and your bones after being in the water all day well exactly and it sounds like maybe i'm, I'm better off being uh, close to other people at the moment hell yeah <sighs> Jeez. is there a you oh, know if there's a little fire at the uh, ranch i need to cook me up some venison i'm mighty hungry oh i've tried but the fire is way too cold to cook there you're gonna have to use the one in here right, so, okay i think i got ones on my horse I try not to go too far without a campfire. I know, I have four bolts of stew on me. I can give you one. Now, you see, this is all going the wrong. I'm supposed to provide for my son. I'm failing as a daddy. No, no, no. You you are providing. You helped me get with uh, Miss Adelaide, remember? Oh, yeah. I got your telegram. How's that going? Uh, well... Look, she, she's she's married to somebody else and their relationship is in a rocky path, so I'm not yeah. going to try, you know, squeeze myself in between there. I don't think that's right. Y you want me to kill him? No, 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 oh, okay. no, that's not necessary. He's a long man, too. Oh, okay. I might be a bit too much heat <laughs> for Scooter Brown. I don't think your local celebrity stats is going to get you out of that one. As long as you know, son, I would kill for you. I, I appreciate that a lot. Okay. Hey, that reminds me. You know that shady son of a bitch I told you about who was hanging around Valentine asking after you? The uh, one in the black and red suit? Yeah, that's him. I was well uh, I was in the, the general store. I can't remember. I think I was flirting with the grandma who works there. I think I might be in there, but I mean, that's a whole oh, other... She's quite, she's quite pretty, isn't she? Yes. Yeah, I mean, that's a whole other story, but I think I, I, think I can work my mojo, you know. But I saw okay, him got... at the door, right, and then uh, when I was done doing Scooter Brown's trademark flirting, and I turned towards the door, he scampered away into the night because he seen me coming. But he was stood there watching me for like five damn minutes. Holy, that's fucking creepy. You think? I mean, maybe he's heard the rumors of how good Scooter Brown is at getting the ladies. Or maybe he's out for something worse. Well, you think he wants Scooter? I think I think he wants your business. You think he's a wagon man? I think I think he I think he realizes how good of an idea it is, so he's trying to deter you from making it and getting him it himself. Oh shit! Well, now I feel like I'm in a rush. Uh, I, well, it's, mm. just, it's just my guess anyway, but. Mm. Okay, I have to think this through. I'm gonna keep my eyes on that pesky some bitch though. Hmm. You ain't you ain't seen anybody matching his description? Uh, actually, um, when down in Emerald Ranch, I've heard stories. You know who Uncle Jack is at all? Uh, I don't know. I did help my Uncle Jack off a horse once. Uh. <laughs> no, not that type. Oh, anyway, different different guy. Okay. The different guy. Different guy. Um, basically, he was attacked by robbers matching the exact description of your man you're on about. Well, there we go. I knew he would. You know, you can never trust a man with a minuscule mustache. Exactly. Yeah, apparently, yeah, he was wearing all black, white shirt, a bit of red on him, and he was attacked just outside the Emerald Ranch and robbed of all his money. You know what happened? Um, basically, he was already attacked by a cougar. He's an old man now. So, he's already attacked by a cougar. He's already hurt. So, they robbed him, and after he was already down, they shot him in the leg. Jesus Christ. 
Some people are fucking insane. Yeah. So the entirety of Emerald Ranch has been on fucking edge, you know, holding guns out. If anybody comes around in a black suit, they're already on them instantly. Well, that's good to know. I, I, I need to make sure I get my goddamn pump action sooner rather than later. Yeah, that's true, actually. Though, though as long as you're in Emerald Ranch, you'll be safe. Okay, that's good to know. I mean, in my day, you could just walk around and feel, you know, quite happy about everything and now there's robbers doing all these awful things that makes me worry don't don't worry as long as we're together nothing will happen okay i mean i i'm i'm quite adept though with my bow I, you've probably heard uh, about my hero work i did in ansburg a couple of days back oh really i haven't heard anything yeah i just came down from the from the mines and uh, there was a, a cougar um, you know, not the fun kind, um, trying to eat a man's face. Oh, shit. Yeah, well, so I, I, mean, I shot him with an arrow. Eat your face, wouldn't they? Well, I mean, that's true. <laughs> the other one more often sits on my face, but that's, you'll learn about that. So I right, stuck continue. him with an arrow. Oh, good job. Did you save somebody? Yeah, but he, son of a bitch, just walked off. Fucking dick. Yeah, didn't even At offer least... me a beer or coffee or nothing. Uh, you know, no, no good, uh, no good deed goes unappreciated. Well, it's true, and it? it's it's them Ansberg folk. It's the coal yeah. dust gets in their brain. I'm sure on the inside he's very happy, but he's a bit shocked after the attack. You know? Well, that could. I mean, he was uh, bleeding quite profusely. Oh, was he now? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I think so. He he may have been uh well he could have died. He saved him in that moment though. Uh, you know, I can only do so much. You're not a doctor. Exactly. I mean I could I could probably play doctor pretty well. I've seen a lot of open wounds. Your own open wounds? Or yeah. somebody else's or sometimes my own open wounds. Well, look, if I ever have an open wound, I'm gonna ask you for help. Okay, well, you're welcome. I'll, I'll stick stuff in it, whatever, bandage it up as it goes. Alright, let's see if there's anybody around, even. Oh, yeah, there's Miss Bay. Oh, thank God. Howdy! Hello. Let's go, Miss Bay. Good, good. Did you see Seaman and tell me that I went? Oh, yeah, I told him already. Uh. He, he was a bit, he was a bit annoyed because he couldn't find any details and was looking for you. Oh, shit. But don't worry, I got, I got character. Just need to quickly eat something before my character passes out. Look, Uncle Jack off a horse was right there and I'm not gonna... <laughs> I'm not gonna take any upset for it, okay? <laughs> um, Kota, thank you very much for the biddies. Um, you have reminded me I need to change something about the biddies though. Yeah. In fact, let me put that on my to-do list. The bitties are the only alerts. Hang on. Merge. Do you already have all the uh, seeds you need? Yeah, I got the rest of the stack from the other day. All right, perfect. Get my shit together here. How many buckets do you have? Uh, just the one. Why, am I supposed to need two? Well, two. You could definitely carry two. Okay. I saw nice, that's fancy. Okay. Well, you got two hands, don't you? For them to work. I mean, that's, I mean, I thought I was the one with the wisdomous -ness, ness Okay, come on. Let's go. There you go. Uh, uh. Put that old man's strength to work. I know. That's, you know, the great thing about getting older and don't underestimate the value of this is uh, people, um, people underestimate you when you're an old fella. Really, do they now? Yeah. Like, people think, oh, he's an old man. He can't possibly shoot me with an arrow at this distance. And then, boom, shot with an arrow at that distance. Exactly. You, you got it, boy. I have taught you well. <laughs> I've been hearing uh, rumors Only that there's the an improved bow that's better than the one I got on my back, so I may have to check that out. Oh, yeah, you can ask uh, Miss Bay when you have a chance to sell them in the general store. I think it's like... Guys? How many about dollars? Twenty-five. Twenty? Jesus Christ! Okay, I got a lot of potatoes to make. 
Now, what do I do here? Help. I pump, I pump. Okay, yeah. Uh, now, this one. Okay. Spread the juices everywhere. Let's see. I'm squirt it out. There we go. Make there you it, go. Get it nice and wet. You want some potato seeds? Oh, yeah, we can plant it at the same time. That'd be a great idea, actually. You want him to come over here? I'm too. I'm thinking about the uh, the pump too much. I know you like to pump it often, but not around here, okay? Okay. I'll wait till maybe maybe Betty's grandmother comes by. I don't want to hear about that anymore, please. Hey, look, hey, your dad has sex too. Yeah, I know. You've had seven ex waves Exactly, and three of them slept with me. All right, which way are we going exactly? Well, I reckon towards... Like, I, I, you reckon towards the hill again? Like, towards this way? Yeah, that way. I'll go I'll go this row and one to my left, so I'll go towards the water towers with two rows. And I'll go towards the barn, yeah? That's, look at this. Father and son. All right, at work. I'm so proud. Okay, pop you down. One, two, go. three, four. What about those fucking seeds? There's probably a lot of money between these two. I love this guy. He's great. Hey, Belfast. Yeah, there's only one thing. Like, I love the telegram system here, but I would like... You can't see your sent telegrams, which would be good to know. Who would attack a man with a machete while farming, Doc? <laughs> Surely not. <laughs> Who would do that? Hey, oh, you're going to come up, Seed? Just thinking about it. Have I done it close? Have I done it too close, maybe? There you go. Hmm. One, two, three, four. Let's go five. Knees to hurt yet? Yeah, my knees hurt permanently, so it's hard to tell. What do you mean it's hard to tell if your knees are hurting? Well, you know, hard to tell if they hurt more than the regular. Oh, I see. I know, a good, a good smash to the top of your knee should be able to tell you. A good what on my knee? A good smack. I hit my knee and that tells me if it hurts or not? Well, I... Yeah, because it'll hurt more than if your knee hurts less. It'll hurt more if my knee hurts less. Exactly. I mean, that makes perfect sense. There you go, little potato. Sleep well. Alright, I'm confused. There we go. One, two. I'm gonna go about here. So, have you got plans to meet your lady friend again soon? Oh, I was literally just sending a telegram to her now. Oh. Uh, yeah, we had met up, not yesterday, but the day before that. And we had a picnic and we were going around to her, uh, her shop in San Denis. And visited her, visited her house and we went back to Valentine to play some poker. Well, that's, that's a very wholesome day that you spent together. Yeah, so I'm thinking now um, I'm going to meet her up again in Rhodes. And she actually gave me a camera. You know the cameras I've on, been on about? I don't trust them. You, what, what do you mean you don't trust them? How did they take... How, they steal me and put me inside some paper. They steal part of your soul is why it hurts. Well, exactly. I don't... How do I trust that? Well, you don't. Cause, uh, as long as I don't take a picture of you, then you'll be fine. Okay, that's true. Scooter Brown can't have records of himself. I got a reputation to hide. Or though, maybe you could put my face on a flyer for the wagons. Well, then that means we're going to have to take your soul out. Can I put it back in afterwards? Um, 
I'm pretty sure if you eat the picture, you should go get your soul back. Okay, so we take my picture, you take my soul, we yeah. put we put it on a flyer, and then I eat the original picture. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, that seems weird, but okay, if that's that new fangled technology. Or we could just have somebody draw you. Oh, some like, like a boutique photo? Yeah, a boutique photo. It'll make you all nice and pretty. Okay, and do I have to be fully nude, or is that my choice? That's a optional choice. Yeah. Okay, so fully nude. Okay, one, two, okay, one, three, four, five. And then I think there's an invisible one here. All right. Uh, so that's one. One, two, three, four. I like slaps of space check. Find the right artist. They might do it for free. Only fins. Yeah, the bits, the bits. That's why that made a noise. Is there not a video with an inbuilt sound? The bot is playing a video and then playing a sound as well. Um, so if I make it all in the same vid, that's fine. Merge bits, vids, and sound. And then that'll work too. But thank you for the biddies, Cal. Cal? Cal? Cal. I kind of, I said Cal, you know, but it was just merged a little. Just a little flumbled. Just a little flumbled. See, I don't know why it's telling me where there's one here, but it's invisible. Yeah, okay. If you want to commission tasteful nudes of Scooter, you know who to call. Do you work for free, though? Because, you know, you know you're, you're my family. We've discovered this. Fully nude with a fish? Wait. 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 <laughs> Hold. Uh, what's this called? Source visibility. Gameplay. Image. Okay. You didn't see that? <laughs> that drawing. I feel like that should go on the flyer. Yeah. That drawing. A Scooter Brown and his anaconda pack. Uh, where we got Google, Twitch, images. There we go. Meow, 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 meow. So I'm trying to just do a little modifier on my setup here. Yeah. All right, 13. Okay, cool. Uh, oh shit, have I got a little bit wonky? One, two. Oh no, yeah, this is my fourth one, and then there's an invisible fifth one. No reaction from mummy? No reaction that we can see, you know? <laughs> that's the real reason why Scoot is a celebrity. Well, that, that I've said it before. That's canon. During the um, during the cutscene once, uh, not the cutscene once. We um, oh, uh, what'd you call it? Oh my god, this this music artist is amazing, right? Again, I'm gonna shout them out again. Rich Shilato. They've all bear in mind, chat. I sent them those lyrics I played you of Scooter Brown just before stream, right? I mean, literally just before stream, maybe 10 minutes. So at most, this guy's had two and a half hours. He's already sent me back uh, a guide Vox track and the backing track. I did... <laughs> Dad. How about we get to some wine? I sound, that sounds good. I, I'm a little scared though, my son. What's what's the problem? Okay, up up there, right right in the corner, on this row. Come, look, I'll show you. Come here. Right. Okay, now tell me, what do you see here? Two trees. 
Okay, what do you okay, what am I standing in? Do you see anything here? Oh. It's, oh, one, see it's one of them evil invisible plants I heard about. Holy shit. How'd you get an invisible plants? I don't I don't know. I put the seeds in the ground. I tucked him up in his little soil bed uh, with a duvet and I sang to him and then poof. He he was gone, but I couldn't put a seat down next to him because he was like, fuck off, this is my individual space. But I can't see him anymore, Tag. Is he gone? It's just, I think I think he's just stuck underground. Okay. You must uh, you must have stepped on him. You think I should? You think I killed my seat, son? No, no, no. He's still look. If you if you listen closely, you can. Oh he my can baby hear his, potato! No. no, no. No, if you listen closely, you can hear you can hear him talking to you. Look, okay, let me put my I'll put my ear right close to the ground like this. You doing it? You doing it? Yeah. Screw hey, Potato Sun, is that you? It's me. Are you okay? I'm doing okay. I'm just a little bit stuck. Okay, can you forgive me, my son? Of course I will. Okay, I'm coming by. I'll water you real good if I can. Okay. If you want to be, I'll stick out the ground again. Don't worry. Okay, I love you, my son. Stay strong. I love you too. Okay, Tag, Tag, help me up. We gotta water my boy. Oh. Yeah. What? What did, what did he say? He said if we water him, he will show himself unto us. All right, come on, let's get you okay. now. Come on. Uh, okay. Yeah, there you go. Let's get our buckets and get to watering these sons of bitches. Oh, I don't need no bucket. Wait. Hey, what? I am on the cusp of new technology. What? I'm scared. You going You ain't Watch gonna take a whiz learn. on him, are you? I'm scared. Oh! There you go. Well, Scooter Brown's not afraid of spitting on it. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck! I do need to cook. Yes. Uh, these two are great. These two are great. Like he's just, he's just a good a good example of you know a, a yes and role player. Like, and like I was I was saying yesterday, like you don't always have to positively yes and. You just need to do something that moves the thing forward. It doesn't necessarily matter the direction. Just don't take the role play to a dead end. I cannot believe this music guy is coming back so to me so fast. And I'm trying not to get I try not to leave stream immediately to go and have a listen to it. <laughs> like you guys should just get the finished article. That's how I do it, don't I? I do a big reveal. Oh, that's done. Okay. How is he just spitting on these plants? Oh, I'm out, of, I'm out of liquids. Hey, my bucket stuck to me. I'm going to go pump. Yeah, I think my campfire is on my horse. Problem. Spitting isn't going to be enough. Have you tried spitting twice? Well, you see, I don't have that much water left in my mouth. Oh, you used it all on your lady friend. No, 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 no. <laughs> don't be making jokes like that. Oh, I'm sorry. It's okay. I believe in you. You're a good upstanding man. Yeah, that's yeah. right. I'm so How about I go cook you some venison in recompense? Oh, no. Well, I got a uh, stew on me. Oh, yeah, that's that's true. Can I have a stew? I don't real feel much like cooking. Of course. I will, You've been working hard collecting that gold. I will recompense you for your time. Yeah. Here we go. Let's get this down the hatch before I die. Hmm. Or it's straight down the more good. <laughs> uh, oh God, dang it! Uh, oh, well, yes. That uh, oh, What the hell was in that? Hmm. Uh, a bit of snake, a bit of frog, and some milkweed. I love it. Snake and frog stew. I got the strength snake of ten thousand men. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, Look yeah. you go. Uh, yeah. Oh! Oh shit. I overestimated my strength. Uh, there's a right. little bit of gravity there. Gravity. Okay. I always get you. Where's my son? I think he might be too far gone. 
Oh, no, wait. I think I think he's still here. I can't. I can't water him. Oh no. I'm trying not to cry. Hughes, thank you very much for I'm three sure months. He knew that you were the best father he could be. You think? Yeah, I know. I I don't think I know. But you said I stepped on my son. That's true. That's true. But. I don't have anything to say to that. Am I a terrible father? No, no, no. You found me again, and you've been teaching me loads of things. Okay. Okay. One mistake doesn't define your entire life. Well, now, I know I raised you right, because that's some, that's some Scooter Brown wisdom coming out of you now. I appreciate that. I know you've raised me right. He's a stepson. Right. Um, Get out. One problem is I don't have another bucket. I left them in Valentine's, so I'm gonna have to go ask for another one. I'll be back in a minute. Okay, try to you know do a little bit more flirting with the ladies if they're there. Yeah, but they're kind of they're kind of not really my um age, you know. Oh, I know. I get you. I know you gotta you know drink from the wells what you like. Listen, that's your, that's your entire department, to be flirting with them. Yeah, I'm a bit of a dog. I can't help I it. Gonna, uh, yeah, 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 okay, okay, you keep that to yourself. Uh, yeah, they're not asked about, not because I don't think they should be, it's, it's more just like, there are so many clips for me to go through, um, each month. Anyway, I, like, I just probably physically couldn't get through that many. Which, speaking of which, though, it's nearly, uh, nearly time for the next clip of the month. That said, Millie is... Oh, no, I don't think she's submitted them, though, so that's right. There's a lot of Pendragon clips. That's what you have mods for? Yeah, but I don't trust their taste. <laughs> like, I'm picking my favorite six clips of the month. They mod for me. I'm not going to trust what they think, am I? Like, they've already proven that they don't make good choices. Plus, it's my way of showing respect to chat, you know? Like, hey, I thought that my content that you clipped was excellent. Why are you banning Jay Britton? He's not even here. <laughs> All right, hang on, chat. I'm just going to mute my mic while I listen to this. You all ready to book it? I'm ready to book it. Okay, let's, let's book it together. Uh. God damn it, Tig. I was listening to a song. How dare you? <laughs> People are so talented, chap. It should be a lot of money for me, I hope. Uh, you've already sold your previous potatoes, have you? I haven't. I, there was a fella called uh, Odin who said they prefer to buy like a full crop's worth. Oh yeah, that's what. Yeah, that's what they do. So you just have to be getting all your seeds done and sell them all at once, and you get sixty-four dollars off that. Sixty-four dollars. I thought it was like a buck per potato. Uh, a buck per seed. Oh, I see. Okay, I'm with you now. Doom, doom. I could do this for hours, chat, just the farming. Uh, 
Uh, it's not a bad view, is it, son? Do need another coffee, though. I can't move. Oh, there we go. Are you saying? I was just saying, and ain't that a good view? It is quite beautiful. Actually, hold on. <gasps> Scared. Is that an empty bucket? Oh no, we got one left. It's gonna take one of them photograph things. Look what I have. Hey! Hey, that's one of them devil boxes. No. No. Come on. Come what, on. What? Face could... it. Face it. Oh, you're okay, but you promised you made me look pretty. I promise. Okay. I take my clothes off now or later? Oh, no, 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 no. Later, later. We can't do that here. Okay. Okay. Do I have to do anything? What's it going to feel like when you shut out my soul? It's going to feel funny down in your lower region. Oh, God damn. Okay. <laughs> and I don't have to do nothing, right? Well, you can make a pose if you'd like. I'm um, okay. Um, um. I think there is some. How's that? Do I look, do I look good? That looks amazing. I see. Well, I could be all like gentlemanly like that. Maybe like I'm thinking about stuff. Be a bit more yourself, maybe. Okay, a little bit more myself. Okay. Um. um uh. Let's see. Maybe. Uh. Maybe something like that. That. That could work. Except the fact that he, um. She not get up back up. Get back up again. Okay. Uh. Uh. There you go. Alright. Try lying down now. I should get this weaponry off here. Here we go. Yeah. It's messing up your uh, body position. I'll get the, you know, the lines right. Yep, yep, yep. Oh, yeah. Right, do you want a <laughs> down angle or from the sides? I, I don't know what any of those words mean. All right, we're going to do from here. How about this? Okay. Perfect. Oh, I didn't even feel nothing. Well, I told you it'd be a slate tingle, but I guess you don't have feeling down there anymore. All right, take my hands. Okay. All right, I'm ready. There you go. Uh, okay. There you are. That's, okay. Um, okay. That was weird. You feel any difference? I, f I feel a little lighter. Well, true. That, that's your soul being sucked out of you, you know? I didn't realize it weighed so much. Well, it means you have a heavy conscience on you. Oh, damn. Okay. Okay, I didn't realize I had so many regrets. Alright, you got that last part? Yeah, here we go. Oopsie daisy. Hold on a second. What time is it? Uh. Where's the sun? It's uh, behind, it's almost right over the top of us. I say it's about 11 o'clock. Oh, shit. I need to meet, I need to meet, meet up with Adeline. Do it. Go. Make oh, sweet Adeline. love. Uh, I will. I will. I'll be back. Just do I it promise. respectfully. Oh, wait. Hold on. I need to give you your bucket. Oh, yeah. Hey, wait. No, I, I got a bucket. Yeah, but two is better than one. What the fuck? I want hands, some, remember? some food too. You look after your daddy. All right. All right. Okay. You be safe now. Watch out for those uh, smelting areas. I will. I will. You go make make great journeys through the sphere of love. I will. Get me a, a daughter-in-law. <laughs> <laughs> He's great. Man, <laughs> oh no. But yes, I do need to uh, do need to set up the thing we used to have when I streamed up Red Dead RP, which is having the EST clock on stream, so it's really quick for me to look and see what the time is. Um, 
because the server basically works to east coast time i mean obviously it doesn't match the day night cycle of what we're looking at but it's pretty much what you go with oh uh, well I don't know. I don't know if I uh, if I said this. I saw it, but Q's thank you very much for three months in advance. You crazy people. It is nice to be enjoying RP again, though. All the RP and hopefully none of the fucking trauma. I should get the Scooter Brown uh, picture tattooed on me, shouldn't I? As a reminder to just live my best life, free of stress and bullshit. Look at all those tomatoes. Yeah, they look surprisingly like potatoes. Wink. I got four dirty potatoes. Oh, actually, I should probably eat that out of the stew now. Yeah, there's basically hentai. There's, like, limited uh, in-game assets. Like, the, the developers on Ranch do make some of their own. But, essentially, I don't think the, the actual base game has potatoes. So, they just use tomatoes. Scooter just littered. Mumbly, don't, because I hate that. I hate it. I always I always hate the fact that my characters throw their stew bowls on the ground. Just listening to some music chat, you know, nothing to do with stream. Yeah, okay, this theme song smacks. <laughs> yeah, that's, that theme song slaps. How does somebody turn that kind of music around so fast, chat? It's amazing. Did we pan for gold at all today? Yes, you get it. We started out with some gold panning. We've, we're still like 20 short of... Um, <clears throat> Of having enough for our first bar. So when do we get to hear it? When it's finished. Um, I need to listen to the guide box. I've got to record the lyrics. Um, like properly in my booth. And then I think it's good to go. Question mark. Hey, where's my pickle? Oh, I can see him. Someone's stolen my horse. There's a pickle just too far away. Might be because he's hitched, actually. I need to record the whoies, too. What are they for? Ding dong merrily on high. 
Is Scooter singing it? No. I think I'm just... I'm going to sing it. But then Scooter will appear at the end. Um... to do the the final hooey. Okay, let's get rid of my buckets. But how are you going to record hooey's when you don't know what the tune is? Or the key? Oh, I'm still encumbered? Uh, okay. I think we're okay. Last night's RP was a blast. It was fucking nonsense is what it was. Okay, I kind of do want to play you this theme tune. <laughs> I gotta do want to play you this theme tune. <laughs> like, it's already almost finished, basically. I just have to go back and record clean vocals. Bam, 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 bam. Okay, let's see what disappears when we've done that one. Okay, they aren't ready yet. See, sometimes you get a glitch, I think. <clears throat> Hope Lulu and Violet will be back soon. I mean, it's all down to Billy, really, and how she's how she's feeling. Let's chuck these potatoes in here. Oh my god. Okay, let's put my dirty potato, my filthy dirty potatoes. What would you rather hear, chat? Would you rather hear an unfinished theme tune? Would you want to wait? I know it's my choice, but I don't know. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh no, hang on, I need to put some water in the bucket first, shouldn't I? Uh, I won't be doing any more BG3, Garth. Um, but we will be, Millie and I. Okay, fine. Um, fine. Don't say I don't ever do anything for you, chat. I, I kind of wanted you to hear it, too. I just can't believe this dude has turned it around so fast. All right, let me just grab it up for you. Now, bear in mind, this is just guide vocals, the same vocals you heard earlier on today. Uh, I haven't heard, like, the full finished version of this yet. Okay, I think... This should be it. Uh, but I kind of need to shut the game up. Hang on, audio. Okay, you ready? The great surprise is the size of his scoot of brown. He's known throughout the town. Scoot of brown, he'll turn that frown upside down. Scoot of brown, he's a local celebrity. Scoot of brown, everybody say who we. Let me tell you about this man the folks find quite perplexing. So 
some people cannot stand. Uh, no. That's the version he said. Hang on. I think he's doing another version where the guide box doesn't, doesn't cut out. But there you go. That's the start of it. It's funny, though, because you can hear that basically my vocals are out of time because obviously I was doing it without vocals beforehand. Like, I can play the version that doesn't have uh, my vocals. Because he's like, he sent me the backing track to go and record it myself. Oh my god, he's amazing. I love this dude. He's he's like I'm so lucky. I'm so lucky, chat. <laughs> I'm so lucky. And what's this one? Have you heard the talk? Have you heard the hammer about this legendary folk? A man of grace and glamour. He's got wisdom in his eyes. So much it makes you sick. But what's a great surprise is the size of his Scooter Brown. He's known throughout the town. Scooter Brown, he'll turn that frown upside down. Oh, Scooter Brown, he's a local celebrity. Scooter Brown, everybody. Say who we let me tell you about this man. The folks fight quite perplexing. Some people cannot stand and find him rather vexing. A kooky sort of fella, the kind you might grow fond of. His belly's big, but it ain't yellow, and hides his anaconda. Scooter Brown, he's known throughout the town. Scooter Brown, he'll turn that frown upside down. Oh, Scooter Brown, he's logo celebrity. Brown, everybody say hooray! Scooter Brown, he's known throughout the town. Scooter Brown, he'll turn that frown upside down. Oh, Scooter Brown, he's a local celebrity. Scooter Brown. Everybody say, who are you? Something like that, I think, chat. Something like that. Ah, that fucking slaps. Ah, oh, that slaps. So I realize what he's done now. He's repeating the last line. That's what the ending is. That's what the ending is going to be. Oh my god, I want to go and record it so nice. <laughs> I want to go and record it now. <laughs> hey, I'm not bad for a quick live sing along. Okay. Where's my potatoes? Just leave us on the BRB for an hour, yeah. Yeah, I just need to just need to rehearse it a couple of times. And get it sung, but that's holy shit. But that's the thing, I don't want to jazz it up too much. I don't think it really needs harmonies, and the ending um is just going to be Scooter's Brown Who We chat. I'm just gonna leave it there with you. It's just gonna be Scooter's Brown, Scooter Brown's Who We. It's right, Vita. I don't listen to anybody anyway. <laughs> when have I ever listened to chat? Got, holy shit. I can't believe that dude just spun that around in two hours. Two hours, chat. That's... Uh, 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 
That's right. I listen to Vita though, and I hear she's open to bribes. So, you know, you listen to us all the day. What? What? But holy shit, does that not fit Scooter? Scooter. I want to play it again and now sing along again, chat. I just want to do it again. Down, ba -da -ba down, down, da -ba down. I'm such a happy man. I'm just like, you don't understand. I know, I know for you guys, it's like a fun song. For me, this is like the sort of creative shit I've been waiting to be able to do with people for years. For years, I've been waiting to be able to do this shit with people. I love it. Millie's going to be sat at the other end of the house being like, what the fuck is he singing? Please film behind the scenes. That's a good idea, actually. Yeah, I'll film. I'll film the booth. <clears throat> and then. Um, and then I can, uh, I don't know, make, make some shit. I don't know. But I mean, I've, now I've got to try and put a video together, which is going to be the hard bit. Bam, 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 bam. Uh, so let's put my dirty spuds. Let's put my filthy, dirty spuds inside my box. I just go get my pickle. You see, the banjo goes up to a lift. <laughs> And also, Cattle Star Galactica, thank you very much for the follow. Welcome on into the random bullshit of Scooter Brown. God, I tell you what, time doesn't have to go fast when you're RPing, though. Uh, what am I doing? Uh, picking up the box. Taking my dirty spuds to the river. Yeah, I just need to go back, sing it a couple of times, get the rhythm down. Um... And the lyrics are awesome, but just a little bit wordy in places, so I gotta make sure I get that right. Oh! How Pico! How Pico, you are full of surprises. Yeah, well, thankfully, Wurz, we're not gonna be going to the forge today, so we're kind of okay on that front. But it does make me a little nervous for when I go um go make my gold bars. Like, I'll definitely only be doing one gold bar at a time, that's for sure. Where's my dirty potatoes? No, uh, you know, but there has been, there's been reports of uh, people getting robbed when they've gone to the smelter. Oh, got this track too. 150 nuggies for a gold bar, Vida. And I need five gold bars. <laughs> we currently have 130. <sighs> that said, we also need 30 ram hides and a bunch of copper. We've got the iron. Uh, we need a bunch of lumber. Do it, Christina. Go. Download those microtransactions. Why do you need gold for the wagon? It's like, yeah, you know, like the inlay? Like between the wood and things? Like door handles. All that kind of stuff. Goblin! Thank you very much for subbing in. I wonder if I now I'm an affiliate, well, I'll be able to raid. No, because I'm still under 30 days old, aren't I? 
I'm not old enough to raid. I'm 67. How dare you? Hey, Diddy. How you doing? Welcome on in. Like, I'm so happy with that theme song chat. Just like a ridiculous amount. In celebration, I'm going to put on my favorite Scooter Brown ish sound. <gasps> Who do you play, Diddy? Were you the. the are you Shoit? Are you Shoit? Are you on the porch with butt on? Oh, you're the old grandma from the general store. I was just telling my adopted son, apparently, um, <laughs> that I was flirting with the grandma in the general store. <laughs> but f yeah, I, it was funny though, Diddy, because like the, I think it was the day before or something. I'd been chatting to, uh, I think it was Simon. And he mentioned about grandma, and I immediately asked if he was single. I was like, I don't meet so many ladies my age. You know if she's single? But thank you, I loved it. Especially when that other chap came in at, uh, towards the end as well. Okay, we got our clean potatoes. Let's put my spuds in my box. I don't think there's anyone anyone around to sell to but we'll have a look oh yeah because it think it thinks you're doubling up when you move stuff around there we go yes i know it's pointless i just want it in order uh so we've still actually got 12 scenes left actually so we may as well finish this 12 while we're here that's a lot of potatoes it is but it's only 64 bucks worth believe it or not so let's do these final 12 seeds uh, uh, I've got my bucket. Yeah, we did just do a live sing along gobble of the um, brand new Scooter Brown theme tune. Did your son lie about how lucrative the potato growing business would be? Maybe. <laughs> Maybe a little bit. <laughs> There you go, Pickle. No, I can't stop calling him Pickle. It's not Pickle. Poor fake Pickle. Uh, let's see. Access the box. Uh, yeah, we'll take two buckets then. And the rest of the seeds. I can go back on my back. You've been on Ranch a while, right, Ditty? I've heard, like, I heard about Grandma almost as soon as I got on the server, I think. It's been a year almost. Nice. Doesn't feel like that. It's amazing how fast time goes in RP. Like, I was, I was, uh, RPing for, uh, I don't know, maybe, do you know what? As, as much as I, is it, uh, as much as I remember about the last time I streamed Red Dead, which was two years ago, I feel like I was on Wild for ages, and I wasn't really. It was only six months, but it was that's that's how traumatic it was. It feels like I was there for years. But it's taken me two years to kind of get over it and be ready to roleplay in Red Dead again. I know, right, Vita? Not quite two years, but pretty much. Yeah. Yeah. May the 14th. I mean, that tells you everything, doesn't it? Chat about its impact. That's the day I was banned from Wild. May the 14th. So, you know, month, month short-ish. And that was two years ago. Um, and I was only on Wild from like... October to May? The year before? Why was I banned? That's a good question, hentai. <laughs> That's a good question. I don't really know. Well, no, I know. And it's, it's worries on a lot of people are 
um, a ban from Wild. It's a very, it's a very authoritarian server. Let's put it that way. Also, deck. What the shit? What in the shit? Count. One, two. Oh my god, I love this new playlist. Twelve months, Decker Bear. I love that this was supposed to be my chilled out corner of the internet chat for roleplay. So yeah, we'll just take like 20 of us over to another channel and <laughs> Oh, you played 5M? Yeah. I've not I've never been able to kind of get on with 5M. Um not because not because of the system or anything, but like for GTA wise, roleplay wise, I couldn't I just couldn't I don't know. I kind of couldn't get on with it. And it's not a slight on GTA RP at all. I was just like, cutting. I mean, there's only 80 people watching. Yeah, but it's not supposed to be another channel that is at partner level. Okay? <laughs> it's not. That wasn't the plan. I am farting. Farting, Chris? No. Farming. I am farming potatoes. God. Now I'm thinking that. I could bring a country bumpkin to ranch, but no one would be able to stand, understand him. Do you imagine Americans trying to understand somebody from like Cornwall? Right, JT, well, you went over that field there, pint potatoes. You know, you came over here and you go, rabbit smell, didn't you? I'm sorry, I don't understand a word you just said. But like I said, boys, I was trying over the potatoes there and I didn't fit, right? And I got into the water and <laughs> it in my bucket. No, I, again, didn't get a word. All right, one, two, three. That is a wonky one. Four, five. There you go. Shoot him. He sounds almost educated. Hello, Gerald from Clark's. Like, yeah, if Americans want to know the perfect example of somebody with that accent, born and raised, who's never left their village... Look up Gerald from Clarkson's farm. And the only reason you heard Bucket uh, dunk is because I made sure I made Bucket come out. Maybe it's because I'm a Brit, but I still get more words than that from Renier. It's funny, isn't it? It's funny how well-trained our ears get. Uh, what mod is this? So, Chris, this is a roleplay server. So this is a private whitelisted server um, where people come to play to roleplay out living in the West. So this is a, a complete mod of Red Dead Online. It'll be a bunch of different scripts that they're running. So this is a farming script that they are running. I believe they're actually completely reworking uh, ranching from the ground up at the moment uh, to bring in things like milking cows and all that kind of stuff. So that's really cool. Uh, if you do exclamation mark ranch RP or just exclamation mark RP, I think, um, that'll take you to the website where you can learn more. Still can't get over the law book. I know, isn't that phenomenal? Might be role play. I'm trying to remember what I set the command up as now. I think exclamation mark ranch should work. There we go. Wow. That reminds me. Let me let me put a little note in to set up the aliases for that. Damn, damn. Uh, set up aliases for ranch commands. There we go. Merge bits, bits, and audio. Mm -mm. Okay, there we go. Oh, no, it's getting dark. I need my lantern. I'm about to steal my lantern off a of pickle. Can you do a farmer accent from the other side of England, Norfolk, Suffolk? No, I'll be, I'll be, I'll be blunt. Tie down. I could do generic farmer accent. That's it.
My pickle glows in the dark. It's got a lantern on it. to these two fellas. Mm. Mm. Okay. I thought we were going to cause shit. They would have done it by now. Phew. <gasps> Hentai. Thank you for gifting a sub to Wandering Whiskey Hogger. Oh, I appreciate it much, Ling. One potato. Quail come. Come here, pickle. See, I think I can just do that, see. Now, usually you can hitch to trees. Uh, okay, maybe not. I thought audio was dead. Audio is dead. Yeah. But this is not audio. This is a whole different beast. Oh, that's interesting. The 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 it stayed on pickle. Uh okay, so we got one more to go in here. Uh. Yeah, I did our call. Uh, Tuesday, I think, was the, the final stream that unlocked affiliate. Hentai! Why is so kind to me today? I mean, and kind to Aricor. Oh, I get it. No, it's kindness. To... No, it's fine. You carry on. You're not giving out things to the poor, are you? I won't have that in my channel. <laughs> Go away, Lucius. Yeah, where are you? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, let's put the extra two. Let's tab them on the ends here. Scooter would appreciate the the kindness. Yes, he would. Spread and choose love, everybody. I know Lucius needs to practice for his pep talk. Lucius doesn't do pep talks. Have you tried just not being poor? <laughs> what I think you should do is here. Here's my opinion is just try to be better at life. You know, just try to be better at life and, and maybe go and get a rich mummy and daddy. That's how I did it. I worked hard to come out of a womb that was rich. You're making me miss our Red Dead Lucius. He was so good. And he was so good for the time period as well. Jesus Christ, Violet! Like, he was the quintessential Victorian rich Englishman. He was just, he's, I mean, he still is just the fucking worst. Just ignore me. You know, I'm reading it. Remember, a response, lack of response is not equal lack of reading. Ba -da -ba -da -um. Okay. I think I've got two full buckets. So let's go down one line and up the other. I'm so hungry, chat. I'm so hungry. I have to be a I have to be a good boy today. There we go. Yukina, stop being a dick to yourself. You have not ruined any surprises. 
No self-deprecation in this channel, okay? That's my job. And it's towards me. That's the deal we make with each other, all right? You give me money, and in return, you can insult me instead of yourselves. All right? That's the deal. That's the contract of my channels. So I shouldn't tell you I just had spicy rice and steak with Rua. No, no, Holiver, you shouldn't. That would be that would be really awful. Although I am having like ham wrapped chicken in a creamy sauce with patties and beans. It's apparently, um, hentai, it's still what are they it's being prepared for shipment, whatever that means, out of customs. So fuck knows. Is the long and the short of it. Oh, red cu a red. I could absolutely go for a curry tonight. Nothing, nothing silly. Just a chicken tikka masala. Mm, egg fried rice. Garlic and cheese naan. That'd do. That'd do. I had roast spuds, bacon, mushrooms, carrot and crispy bacon. For <laughs> it's all right, Jack, because I've got 40 minutes left. And then I'm stopping for dindins. And yes, I am a nearly 40-year-old man who just said dindins. All right. How is egg fried rice Indian? It's on the menu. There you go. I'm very confused by the UK food catalogs. <laughs> Just remember, all it is, is a collection of food that we stole. Oh, burrito. I could go for a Mexican tonight. I mean, I'm not going for any of these options, sadly. But these are all the things I could eat. Okay, I can't water that one for some reason. Oh, and both my buckets left? My word. Um, some delicious colonialism. Like, it does upset me, but the, uh, pretty much every Chinese and Indian restaurant here, you can go and order a chicken omelette and chips. What did we say I'm going to have? Uh, uh, Ham-wrapped chicken in like a creamy white wine sauce. Uh, I, don't know, I think it's roast tatties and green beans, I think. Oh, I might have. Oh, I think I've planted this one too close. No, I applied this one too close. You dumbass, Jay. God damn it. Oopsie, chat. We did an oopsie. Thankfully, I haven't fucked it up. We've got the one to use the pump, though. Also, if you're new here... Hi, I'm Jay. I'm a voice actor. In, in, you know, the day job. And then I stream a bunch of bullshit here on Twitch. Uh, there's the Discord if you want to come and join us and say hello. Oh no, wait, I can't do it. Somebody else do exclamation mark Discord. I forgot my chat commands go to the other Twitch channel. <laughs> XPD. Note to self. Copy. Hello, oh, here's my Stream Deck setup chat. Look. Let's go across to uh, my Red Dead RP. It's not actually what I meant to... There you go, look, there's my Red Dead RP stream deck. Much simpler. Uh, I wanted to go across to my notes. That's what I wanted to do. Copy chat. Commands to... RDRP stream deck. I should get a Steam Deck. Wait, Deck, I have to ask this because I keep getting confused. So I'm just checking. Do you mean Steam Deck or Stream Deck? Hmm. They're not empty again, are they? No. Stream. Okay. Yeah, stream, stream Deck is very useful. I mean, I say that. I only use mine for streaming, actually, to be fair. Kessie, welcome in, Raiders. Welcome to my super secret roleplay channel. Shh, 
don't tell anyone else it's here okay it's a secret we don't tell nobody about my roleplay channel okay both my buckets are full dab -a -doom -doom. no worries Cassie thank you thank you for bringing across your bunch welcome everyone who's coming from Cassie my name is Jay I do voice acting and stuff blah 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 uh, this is my Red Dead roleplay dedicated channel except for the night you want people watching Shh. Shh. oh oh I got it right in the corner there we go are you okay sales you need to go for a nap I need to raid and run and start packing. Do it. Raid, run, pack. We can keep a secret. Okay, good. Swear to God, if I end up with two channels that are partners, I'm going to cry. I don't, know, I don't know why I'm going to cry. That seems nonsensical, Jay. I just, I just, it will feel weird. You know, I'll come to like it. And I'm going to, I'm going to focus on the scooter brown theme tune more money no thank you exactly but honestly you know with the way with the way with the way vo is going ugh. Ugh. i've said it before i will say it again if if streaming covered my living costs i would do nothing else because it's great fun oh my god wait okay chat i need your help because this could be very important. That wasn't there before, right? Or has that little campfire always been there? And it's just that thing where I haven't spotted it. I feel like that's just been set up. Yeah, I don't think it was there before. <gasps> Which means there is pop-up campsites for camping RP. <gasps> okay, I just got real fucking excited. I love camping RP. I just love the RP of going out into the woods, you know, and setting up a camp and staying there for the night and shit. All right, none of these are ready yet, I don't think. There we go. Get in by Cougar. Not Scooter Brown. Not Scooter Brown. the way the clothing even affects the lighting like i can't even comprehend how rockstar built this ship yeah see there's obviously something fucky about it because it kind of comes and goes doesn't it bam 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 I think tomorrow. What have I got on tomorrow? Um, I got nothing in the morning, and I got swimming. I've got an audition I need to record. And then I think, and then obviously we've got a stream in the evening. I was hoping to sneak in a quick RP stream tomorrow afternoon. So maybe I'll go record the Scooter Brown theme tune in the morning. How's my little Crapsies doing? Hello there, Crapsies. I'm tempted to sing us out as well, chat. <laughs> I can't believe my character's got a theme tune. Oh. It, it, it starts, to, you know, it's, it's an age old adage in the creative industries, though, which is basically like if someone won't hire you for the thing, Make it yourself. Oh my god. Okay, I've just had an idea which is which is terribly self-indulgent. And I don't really care. Am I doing the final mix down of the tracks? No, so Kota, the guy who has uh, come out of nowhere basically and said, I'm, I really want to work with some music uh, with you who's doing who's i'm just doing the like the vocal uh the singing and the melody of the vocals um following hollow fist's fantastic guide um 
and then he, yeah he's he's actually producing it but chat where i was going was in game there is on ranch there are early record players that you can have as an item in game and you can put out and i think if you support ranch to a certain tier you can get a custom item and i think you can possibly get your own record made up so i could get scooter brown's theme tune put onto a record with the gramophone <laughs> <laughs> imagine it as you're getting on to the um the wagon tour with scooter brown and this little theme tune just starts playing sorry who's sales i don't know who that is i don't know who sales is oh my god like a gift shop after the wagon you heard the song now buy the album from me scooter brown <laughs> yeah i'm not exactly sure what, what what the rules are because the guy who's making the music it's like it's authentic period instruments you know what i mean okay bye sorry who's that again i don't know who that was that was weird we got like this green sword icon what does that mean i mean they're a keyboard warrior <laughs> 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 I'm not sorry. I'm not sorry. No worries, Gobble. Have fun, Scooter or Browning. Soon I'm going to have to go wash my spuds. Oh, wait, I haven't modded you, Decker. Decker, do you want to be a mod on this channel? You want your sword back? I might just do it. Well, I missed a lot by going to lunch. It's all got a bit out of hand raving, I'll be honest. But I've got 28 minutes and then I need to go and make sweet, sweet love to Millie. You want me to carry a sword? I will. I'm sorry, but that was too close to um, Lord of the Rings quote, so I'm just going to do it now. Do you accept the burden of the sword? Welcome to an elite few. there's a there's a, a big streamer i know um who has run out of giving out vip tokens so he just gives out mod swords instead and every time i go to his channel i forget i'm like why have i got this i'm like oh yeah <laughs> I, I might not even still have it you know <laughs> but it just made me chuckle like just the level of trust i love it boom 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 yeah, get to work, Deck. Jesus. You're a mod now, which means I can just abuse you. Earn your keep, all right? The fellowship of the cowbell grows. Keep it secret. Keep it safe. I kind of like... I was playing around yesterday. I like Barnabas's voice because it's not too far from being a bit Gandalf. I would like your meat. Tender... Look to my coming on the third day. Or whatever the line is. On the third day, look to the east. <laughs> you spend your lunch setting up Red M. <gasps> Do it. Can I actually harvest it or did I just look at my spuds? Oh, make your mind up game. Ah! Okay, we got it. Reminded me of Captain Jack Sparrow. Yep. Yep, 100%. It's sort of in the... Oh no, there. It's in that little bit. There's definitely a bit of drunk dep in there for sure. Hey, Pico! Unhitch yourself and come help me clean my spuds. Oh wait, more potatoes. I haven't looked at my Twitter since I started stream. I don't know why I bothered tweeting something contentious. I try not to these days. But that was just such a... Such an obvious... Hideous thing. 
Oh, okay. No, it's fine. My Twitter has not exploded. Good. Not like when I slagged off an entire generation and had death threats. That was that was good fun. Potato. How else would you pronounce potato? <laughs> what do you mean? Look at all my clean potatoes. Which generation? Well, this is the great thing about it. Tyleon is that I didn't even mention a generation. Yeah, people just decided that I was having a go at every single generation. So each generation got offended thinking I was offending them. It was very nice. I think all, the tweet was back. It was back in like proper COVID lockdown days when everybody was just like, hey, we're not going to do anything about the um, lockdowns. Fuck you. We're all going to gather and spread the disease and it's fine. And all I tweeted, it was something really innocuous as well. I, tr I tr tweeted something like all lockdown behavior shows. Um, there's an entire generation. Didn't say which one. There's an entire generation who has never grown up hearing the word no. Um, and then, then it's just some generic follow on comment. And it got like 30,000 likes and just death threats for days. People accused me of being rich because I had a big fridge. That was it. That's where that's that's where the meme comes from. About Jay owning a massive fridge is that somebody sent me a DM insulting me by saying, I bet you've got a really big fridge. <laughs> I forgot that. Because uh, for some reason, giving a shit about not spreading a deadly disease uh, meant that I was first off rich and then secondly because of that must have had a big fridge. I don't I, I was very confused. Yeah, it's the only time I've gone viral on the internet and I mainly found it hilarious more than anything. I got to clean my potatoes. Obviously rich and privileged with my giant fridge. I know. That's how I come out of it. It's so cool. Measles is breaking out in the Netherlands. Yeah, well, that's because we don't have a working vaccine. Okay. I bet you actually have two freezers. Well, technically I do. <laughs> Technically, I do. Uh, I guess it's like like one and a half, because you just have like a little freezer section in the fridge. Um, and then although I think it's I think it's quite common in the UK, and I don't maybe it's just me, and I don't you know I have no idea, but like. Whether I don't know, we just eat so much frozen food. I don't know, but it's more more because our fridges are usually not that big. Like certainly in comparison to U.S. Fr uh, fridges, right? So it's quite often you'll have a fr we call it a fridge freezer in the kitchen, which will be like seventy five percent fridge, and then um twenty five percent freezer, and then either a chest freezer or a um. Uh, like an upright freezer that is just all freezer. And yes, it's always in the garage, just like just like in the States there. Yeah, it's always in the garage. The the upright. The upright, that's it. A chest freezer or an upright freezer. Okay. So our potatoes are done. And in the box. My mum, my mum's terrible. They've got they've got two freezers. Uh, what am I doing? Stowing the box. And pretty much, this is this is this is the this is the type of like person I want to be when I get old, right? Is my mum has two freezers, one of which has got you know the standard stuff, ready meals, frozen pizza, you know meat, whatever. Pretty much, the the second freezer is full almost entirely of desserts. And holy fuck, if that's not a mood. Uh, we could end up, head up to Ansberg, get rid of this um, pay dirt. How long have we got? 20 minutes? 
Yeah, let's do that. I don't know the way to Ansberg well enough, though. I'm ca kind of purposefully avoiding RP just a little bit because I don't want to I don't want to accidentally get stuck in and I'm about to finish. Oh God, it's a long way. That's a long way. Um, that said though, like, unless Millie and I, I don't know, like, just randomly get some ice cream or something, we don't, because of HelloFresh, we don't ever eat frozen food, really. I think there's like, usually all that's in the freezer is any meat that we didn't get around to cooking from HelloFresh. And there is a frozen pizza in there at the moment, though, which I've managed to avoid. Good looking ass you got there, oh Decker Bear, you dirty old flirt. You dirty old flirt. Every plate's been good for keeping you eating fresh. Like, they are good. And I think I think we did the maths. And it do, like it doesn't really work out any more expensive. Pretty much. <gasps> oh, there's nothing like a good RAM upgrade, is there? Been looking into a RAM upgrade for my stream PC actually because it's it's struggling a little bit. It's only it's got 16 gig of DDR4 RAM, and given how chunky my OBS setups are, it's it struggles. So after Scooter becomes a millionaire with the wagon, we get a real pickle, right? Yeah, sure. Eh? Oh my god, Oliver! You are going to shit. Do you have a decent monitor, Oliver? The reason I say you're going to shit, right? Fucking <laughs> hell. Is because I uh, recently, um, Cypher of Tear, who is in chat quite often and who is a lovely person, um, sent me a 4080 that they had. And I, I only went, right, my my graphics card leap was only from an 8 gig 3070 to a 16 gig 4080. And Jesus Christ, that was, that was severely noticeable. So I dread to think what going from a 1070 to a 4060 is going to be like for you. It's a great series of cards, the 4000s. Other than the 4090, which of course sets everybody's PCs on fire. We don't worry about them. Do you do much like video editing and stuff, Oliver? Like I'm rendering videos so fucking fast now. Your 40 runs like a champ. Yeah, like, I mean, everyone made a big deal out of it, but it wasn't that many 4090s really that had an issue. Um, And a lot of the time it was down to people doing dumb things with how they put them in and things. My dog just audibly farted and I blamed my husband. I think that's fair. I don't know what the issue is here. The dog just like looks over. That's because the dog is busy thinking, fuck it, got away with it. I'm going to do that again. I'll go from a 1080 to a 4090 soon. Woo! Yeah, sales. 100%. And like, to be honest, Red Dead is a great marker because it's it's such a hungry game. Such a hungry game. I might, I might have to check out Cyberpunk, actually. Not that I need any more games to play right now, but... I 
I think for me, the telling thing is it is on Red Dead. As you turn things up and down, it, it literally has a bar that's like, here, here's how much of your graphics card I'm going to be using. And I just threw everything up to full and it was like, yeah, what? I think, can I? I think I can see it without wrecking it. Yeah, there you go. Look, I have everything on full. That's how much of my graphics memory I'm currently using. <laughs> I love it. I love it. They shouldn't be that bad, Melfis. You should only ever get uh, three minutes in an hour. Like, that's it. You should only get two 90 second ads in the hour. That's it. All right, it's the it's the bare minimum that Twitch will allow me to run. Oh, anonymous bastard. I hate anonymous people. I mean, I love them, but I hate not being able to thank. But thank you, whoever that kind soul was for gifting us up to Melfis. <laughs> You're playing a dangerous fucking game. All right, chat. We will um, get rid of our paid up. We will send uh, Tyg a telegram, I reckon. Just ask him how his date went. Oh, hang on. Hang on. I want to ride into Ansberg because we know what might be in Ansberg. To just jump off to get my um, bow to work. But yeah, I don't know if you could hear me, Melfis, because the, the ad was running, I guess. But yeah, you should only ever get two 30-second ads. Uh, sorry, two 90-second ads in an entire hour. Like, that's it. Let's check the bear's not here. Okay, we're okay. No, I don't think so, Deck. I probably said something rude. Yeah. A bear would outrun your horse to begin with. Yeah, but not my bow. Oh, scooter! Holy shit! Three for three. move you away a little bit pickle there you go down 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 oh yeah i like reusing arrows for that reason like ammo on this game in this server is pretty expensive so to be honest arrows arrows is what you want for hunting all right i think yeah i think we're best going up this way Is it where the, I know you can kind of I think it's these steps you need let's grab our pay dirt okay there we go a bit more space on the horse now
I just go sell my pay dirt. Got to get them pay dirts. How did I miss this door the other time? Had day. Uh, yes and no. Like, I did play the first Red Dead in its campaign. I didn't finish it, though. And I have not finished the second Red Dead campaign either. I am a bad cowboy. Jay, what? Parker? That's not too bad. Six bucks eighty. Fob your tea off and finish. Oh, I, I, we are way past like one evening's worth of fobbing off. No, don't, don't. Okay. Well, what we've said, Savvy, is. Oh, I was hoping I could sit on that very comfy chair. Oh? I can sit on that comfy chair. All right, chat. Scooter's going to go to sleep in the coal miner's office. He's doing it. Jay likes to abandon games. No, he doesn't. Stop gaslighting me. I only leave bad games, okay? All right, we did it. Oh, look. There's the lyrics for Scooter Brown chat. Try to sing it once more. <laughs> Try to sing it once more. A little, little treat. Just a little treat. Hey, there. Speak of. All right. I tell you what. We'll come to this. We'll come to the um. The finish scene. The finish song. What am I even trying to say, chat? The finish scene. And I'll, uh, I'll sing us out, shall I? No. Fuck off, Jay. Wow. Wow. Rude. Okay, let's let's try it. Let's see how this goes. Wait, I forgot how the tune goes. Hang on, let me remind myself. <laughs> this is the version with my lyrics. Or with me, with my dry vocals. Hang on. I just don't remember the tune yet. Have you heard the talk? Have you heard the talk? Okay. <clears throat> Here we go, everybody. Get ready. Have you heard the talk? Have you heard the clamor about this legendary folk? A man of grace and glamour. He's got wisdom in his eyes. So much makes you see. But what's the great surprise is the size of it. Scooter Brown. He's known throughout the town. Scooter Brown. Don't turn that frown upside down. Scooter Brown, he's a local celebrity. Scooter Brown, everybody say who we. Let me tell you about this man the folks find quite perplexing. Some people cannot stand and find him rather vexing. A kooky sort of fella, the kind you might grow fond of. His belly's big, but it ain't yellow. How does Anaconda? Scooter Brown, he's known throughout the town. Scooter Brown, he'll turn that frown upside down. Oh, Scooter Brown, he's a local celebrity. Oh, Scooter Brown, everybody say hooey. Scooter Brown, he's known throughout the town. Scooter Brown, he'll turn that frown upside down. Oh, Scooter Brown, he's a local celebrity. So, Scooter Brown, everybody say hooey. Scooter Brown, everybody say hooey. 